Wow. We are all domestic terrorists. Ladies and gentlemen, we hell are yeah, all domestic brother, terrorists. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. Raise hell, praise Dale, baby. We're freaking back. We Welcome, so everybody. Back. It's the leftovers here to bring the culture war back to the Confederate. Okay, I got right off the bat, I got some things to say. Go ahead. One, you look very skinny today. Thanks, bro. Thank you. I didn't yeah. sleep well. I'm very tired, but I am feeling skinny. I'm, I'm in the middle of a second push right now. Uh huh. So thank you for acknowledging that. Ethan I like that you talk legend. about it like, like you're pooping. Like the, well, I feel like that's something that you would use for, for shitting. But anyway. I'm in the middle of a push, uh, Hassan. Give me a moment. Um, so that's one. <laughs> Number two. I'm digging the Steve Zizou, like the, the, the fuckboy beanie. Okay, thank you. It looks good. Thank you. You got the mustache. You know, it's the regular beanie. I just like no, the No, I know. I didn't get the memo. Yeah, I just rolled it up. That's my new thing. Hold on. Yeah, it looks good. Now, that doesn't, Dan, you're bald. Yeah, it doesn't work for you. Oh, you yeah. can't do it if you're yeah. bald? <laughs> okay. Hold on. You, you, look look like, you look like an unrolled condom. No, you look like a like a Ottoman... Uh, you look like a boy that the Ottomans found in the fucking Balkan village, and you're about to become a Janissary <laughs> when you do it like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. What else? So, uh, those are those are the two things I just wanted to say. I, okay, I saw you. the beanie. I saw the beanie uh, the other day when you were uh, talking about retrieving uh, your six hundred thousand dollars back. Six hundred and twenty. Six hundred twenty. It's the five percent that matters. Um, five percent is everything. Yeah. <laughs> and five percent. And uh, I saw your beanie. I was like, damn, he looks good. Thank you, bro. Hot. Thank you. you. you Thanks, hot. man. Thank you so much. You know, that means a lot coming from, from a hot dude himself. <laughs> so thanks. <laughs> thanks. Real recognized okay. real, apparently. But, like, uh, if you were ugly, it wouldn't matter as much. <laughs> well, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I would say, well, what do you know about being hot? Oh, okay. If you were like, you know. It's not your fault. Hey, Alfredo and Shredder are back. So we have a great episode today. Uh, as you guys know, the new Mario Brothers movie is out. Ugh. Lots of uh, conflicting opinions, but the one thing More that like Mario sisters. I know, right? Well said. <laughs> You're the not one, ready. The one You're thing that we do know for sure is that it's making a ton of money. And I hate that because... Anyway, well, I don't want to tease it. Anyway. Well, the well, also, but the conservatives, conservosphere is all tied up into a pretzel trying to figure out why is it making so much money? Is it w because it's woke or because it's anti-woke? This is a dialogue that's consumed them somehow. And it just goes to show you just how obscene this, this uh, argument is when they can't even agree. Yeah. They can't even agree no, if it's woke or not. No, they definitely have a definition for woke, though, for sure. They do. They that's, just, they won't tell you. It's, it's like Trump, you know, people, when they ask him? It? Yeah, I mean, it's black well, Oh, no, 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 that's, that's the real definition. I yeah. just meant, like, what conservatives think is, is woke is, is, you know, it, that's still up for debate. But if you ask them, they'll tell you, like, I can't tell you. I know what it is, but Let's I won't tell you. Let's have the debate now, because I think I'm going to destroy you. Want, you you. want to get started on it, like, right off so the we, jump? So we, well, here's. You want to do, like, a yeah, 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 yeah. updates and all this shit? Well, what do, you, what do you have to say? I mean, you already called me hot. I mean, what else is there to say? <laughs> You know, um, you want to ask me something about? You could compliment Hassan back. I mean, look, uh, he, yeah, he looks, he always looks good. Thank you. You, he always thank looks you, good. Thank you very much. You've been, you've been working out. You've been keeping on the I've diet. Been, uh, dude, I've been, I've been going crazy with it. Um, I'm, I'm almost, I'm very close. I'm very close to like finally uh, doing some like full blown shirtless photos again. Oh, you know? oh my close. god! Okay. By summer for sure. Okay. Like by the time we get to like July, I think I'm, I'm I'll be there. Okay. So get excited for that. And uh, what, is there any consideration to doing the steroids yet? Maybe mild steroids? No. No, nothing. Um, that's like, I'm holding on. I'm holding out on that until like the very last moment. Like I have to until I like, you know. You're saving that for when you're a bit older and yeah, yeah, keep yeah. muscle mass? Science is gay. Yeah. Science is gay. I'll have you know. True. True. Uh, well, before I guess before we begin the actual debate, I of course, as Nathaniel uh, Klansman, yeah. I'm of the belief that the Mario movie is anti-woke, and that's why it made so much money. 
Yeah, I, I, I am I am of the mindset that it's definitely woke, and you're wrong. What? Yeah, you're wrong. You're just wrong about that. How can we not agree on something like this? I mean, it's like our whole culture war type of thing. Should be obvious. Let's let's. You want to do you want to do it right now? You are so excited. Well, Don't you want to talk we, about like the anti woke beer or the daily call? All the, all the no, I want to watch all this stuff, but start getting in character because well, you. I mean, I'm just gonna tell you right now, you have no shot. Dude, Mario, hey, this ain't a character, Nathan. This is mm, that's who I am. Hey, this is who I am. That's through right. and through, I'm a, I'm a country boy, born and bred. You know, I want to tell you something actually on a serious note. What's up? I was live streaming, uh, doing a podcast, and we were talking about, uh, I don't know how it comes up from time to time about how my old, more react, not reactionary, but social justice warrior content. Mm hmm. And a lot of people, a lot of people were saying that they went down the conservative kind of uh, manhole and that because of this show or because of my switch or because of your show, a lot of people are coming around. Yeah. And I, I didn't know what was the actual effect, if it was doing anything or not, but it's nice to see that. It's nice to yeah. hear that. There's a lot of, yeah, for sure. The one thing I heard of consistently was that I've been watching you since I was in, like, in middle school. And as a 14-year-old boy, I started seeing, like, Ben Shapiro owns feminist videos. And then that's what got him down the yeah. rabbit hole, thinking Crowder and Ben Shapiro were awesome. But literal 14-year-old boys. I thought 14. that was interesting. Oh, for sure. I mean, you see the way <laughs> I, that they pose. It's so embarrassing, though. Like, well, I, now they're, they're doing it again. That's like... There's always a new crop of 14 year old boys that are becoming 14. Yeah. And they gravitate towards like any kind of like anti hierarchy, edgy content and commentary that they find to be subversive, disruptive. What they don't really realize is that the commentary that they're gravitating towards that they find subversive is actually just like the same shit that their dad and their grandfather believes. You know what I mean? But right now, that is already happening. You got no jumper. You got, you know, Adam 16, you got like all these uh, accounts like Wait, who's Adam the 16? Daily Loud, Adam I, 16 of No Jumper. Adam 22. Are Adam, you calling it that because that's the age of... Oh, oh Adam 16? That's so oh. good. I, oops. Yeah, <laughs> I guess I had an oopsie there. Sorry. Um, Adam 16, that's so, great. <laughs> I thought you were uh, making an implication there. I'm only 16. I don't know what like you're talking about. <laughs> um, I mean, he said it. So you got you, that. Yeah. You, you you got Didn't those he? guys. You got the Daily Loud guys, like rap TV. Like there's so much reactionary commentary. And of course, the coolest academics. and most appealing, Dennis Prager. Yeah, well, that, those that's the old way, right? Like Ben Shapiro and them are kind of washed. The new wave of like reactionary content is coming from like. What's your argument? Coming from like the PUA commentary sphere. The like the women are. Oh, I just heard like a jet engine back there. What was that? They're just. Just Seems a like a vacuum, okay. I think, like an industrial vacuum. All good, it's gone. And, anyway. Uh, there isn't any. So those guys are the ones who are, like, basically trying to radicalize or uh, captivate and capture okay. the market of, like, young boys. But I, I just imagine, because, you know, Steven Crowder fancies himself like a stand-up comedian. So I just love the idea of him going to, a, like, a, do his set, and it's just a bunch of 14-year-old boys. It's just, like, a bunch of kids in the audience. It's no, awesome. I think his audience is, like, a lot older. I think Steven Crowder... Well, conservative commentary usually is like very, uh, like the people that go in for the commentary and actually care about the politics on the conservative side are going to be older. Mm. The conservative base is older. The conservative base is richer. Um, so, so those are the those are not the guys who are watching like the change my mind anti SJWs uh, or SJWs own compilations. The SJW own compilations are are all encompassing. That's usually how like a lot of 14 year olds like dip their toes into it and they might become like ideologically motivated and the more they the more they watch that content, the more they gravitate towards that, the more the further down the pipeline they'll go. Um, and then before you know it, they're in a discord splinter cell leaking, you know, government documents, mm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. CIA right. documents. <laughs> well, okay. So anyway, in just, between screaming anti-Semitic slurs and shooting guns and stuff, it, the, uh, the, 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 the hole never sinks far enough, but, yeah. um, uh, I just wanted to pat ourselves on the back a little bit. So thank you to us. Yeah. Thank you. We did it. So let's talk about yeah. Mario. Um, so. $427 million it's made in opening weekend, which I think might be the first or second most uh, animated movies ever made. Yahoo! 
Uh, it's certainly the top this year I saw. I don't know about ever. I think it's all time, bro. Top That's animated. crazy money. Movie. 427 million time. opening weekend, dude? What the F? That is pretty nuts. Or uh, since opening It had the weekend. third biggest U.S. premiere of an animated film ever. Um, but if what? you include the worldwide, um, it might it might actually get up there. What was one and two? Uh, number one is the uh, Lion King, the recent live, or not no, live that act, one. The, no, no Lion King, the, the CGI uh, Lion Dude, King. Dude, that's a bunch of woke garbage, bro. Wait, I thought that was that movie. I never even saw it. I thought I it was dog shit. shit. Uh, Hell no. Uh, it made 191 million at the domestic box office on its opening weekend. Bunch of woke shit, dude. For sure. Um, and then number two is uh, Incredibles two. Wow. What's number one? Lion King. Lion King. Oh, Lion King's number one? Yeah, yeah, Lion King's yeah. number one, Incredibles 2 is number I'll have two. you know, yeah. a and gay the man made the two. soundtrack to that movie. Uh-oh. Which one? The Lion King. Oh, dude, that's woke. That's automatically woke. Oh, that's so true. Oh, Mar so Mario is number one worldwide. How about that? You okay? I, dude, yeah. Elton John is gay. That's crazy. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, Wait, what so, was I supposed to be? I'm defending that it's woke, right? You're uh, saying... You're you, saying that it's woke and it's trash because of that. Okay, yeah. good, good. Thank yeah. you. I uh, just, just want to make sure real quick. <laughs> also, neither of us have seen the Mario movie yet. Right. In fact, I don't think, I it, don't think they has have. anyone here seen it? Uh, He's so okay, cool. good. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna I was going to go to the movie. premiere and I, I didn't because it's woke. Yeah, it's right. trash. That, that part is true. Like I was hot. actually supposed to go to the premiere. I thought that the premiere was a week before. Like, we, we got ready. I was like, oh, yeah, I'll take my brother to this. And then I realized, like, oh, shit, it's actually next week. So then I never ended up going to the premiere. I'm going this weekend with my son. His first movie ever. Are you, you're not worried? That it's going to turn him trans? Yeah. I am a little bit you're gonna, worried. You're going gonna, to you're gonna queer your child. Hopefully the uh, popcorn and the drinks and stuff will distract him enough. Well, don't worry, Ethan. You're arguing that it is actually it is good. based in yeah. red pilled. Right. Um, so it's actually going to red pill. So it's ethical, ethical consumption for, your, for you and your child. <laughs> yeah. Well, so let's get, let's see here. Here's an album of right wing uh, YouTubers celebrating its success as anti woke. Mario Bros is the worst movie in history? Insane Yahoo! critics roasted. So here he is defending uh, well, this master. Well, wait a minute. Is that, is that Quarter Pounder? This is, yeah. Wasn't he defending another thing earlier this week? Uh, Someone getting uh, ripped off by an MCN. Oh, yeah, I know it. He was defending <laughs> a... He was... Quarter Pounder with the... Sometimes he comes with through. With the assist, dude. Sometimes he comes through, you know. Yeah. He goes... Oh, now I must defend Ethan Klein. It is one of the most that. difficult things I have dude, to do. Dude, he's such a merc. Like, he is a mercenary. He doesn't... He, it's so obvious that he's just like straight up saying whatever he thinks like other neck bearded yeah. dudes like him want to hear. Yeah. He, he's a fan. We actually know that yeah. for sure. Yeah, he's a, he's a fucking FUPA trooper, bro. I'll piss in the basement with you, dude. Let's do some members only content. Did, cross streams in your basement. Didn't he have a, a, a sort of a, a sort of enlightened uh, trans take a while back that all of his fan base got really mad at him for. No, I think you're think I think you're mistaking him with another bald bearded man, woke star. Oh, who, he, who that he was revealed was all a star. troll, and he was way. just trolling. Wait, yeah. no, was woke star trolling? Yeah, he's I like uh, he trolling death to trans people. <laughs> wait, <laughs> he wait, did wait, a wait. call with uh, Kefels. I, I thought no, 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 no. He literally said that what like the second in command at Drama Alert is actually trans. And they started working there pre-transition. I don't know. There's, I know <laughs> nobody works there. No, no. The person who, like, I guess the, does his, like, social feed or whatever. Okay. Good. Like, who, who sources all the material. No, because recently he said he actually came out and defended uh, Chris. And was like, it's so crazy how many people are just, like, aggressively attacking Chris. But then Chris he also going out put train. out a tweet saying, ah. people are canceling Ethan for... Yeah, that was the fuck with you. Yeah, you have to understand. He, <laughs> like, yeah, that that's different. There that is irrelevant. Okay, so we like Woke teams. Star. I like Woke Star. I'm drunk. Anyway, here, here. So I don't like, know. He's still a piece of shit. Don't get me wrong. He could just <laughs> be like a, you know, surprisingly not transphobic and still be a piece of shit on every other issue. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think I don't think he's as un as surprisingly not transphobic as you think. No, I think he's like. Well, he, he had this call with Keffels that was apparently like a total disaster. Well, I'll and it wasn't it like that this. long ago. I say it like this. Uh, I, I think he is 
less transphobic than you would immediately assume he is. Okay, that's you fair. know what I mean. Where mm -hmm. like my assumption is he's like uh you know like oh yeah trans people are you know mentally ill type person like mm -hmm. that's what I mm -hmm. that's my assumption, but it seems it's more like. It seems to be more like, yo, maybe we should like ease up on the on the gas pedal a little bit on on how much we attack trans people. Like, what the fuck's going on? I know a trans person; they're fine. Or like, my eighteen year old girlfriend is woke. Uh, you know what I mean? So I'm <laughs> there learning is. more about trans people because of that. <laughs> I like it anyway. I mean, listen, if if dating a, a eighteen year old is what uh, gets him a education, then I'm all for it. Uh, well. <laughs> no, no, that, no. There, but there's plus and the minuses. I mean, we gotta take <laughs> the wind and the loss. Better ways to learn about this stuff. So uh, <laughs> I don't know what's this channel, Yellow Flash. Uh, oh, it. I, there are so many of these. I was shot when I was looking for these last night. All, all of these channels that you've never heard of before, they're they're all quartering clones. They're okay. all like uh, late thirties, mid forties, oh, white God. guy with the beard. In yeah. a room full of toys, just Basement. like the quartering, and they all have like five hundred thousand subs. I don't get it. Like, it's shouldn't awesome. you be embarrassed? No, like, you should be embarrassed. They're getting paid like way more than they would make. But even then, the you job. should still be embarrassed. Like, you're you're presenting yourself. If you're right wing, it's all about aesthetics. You got to present yourself as this, like macho figure. No, look at the quartering. His success defies all logic. <laughs> He's like the embodiment of a. Of a soy guy. Of just like, I mean, yes, his, his whole essence is soy. Well, I think, I think that's because a lot of people look and act exactly like him on the right. Mm. So they're like, oh, he's just soy like hero. me for real type shit. You know Okay, I mean? so anyway, this guy, Yellow Flash, Mario just exposed critics, you guys. Poor. Make him gay. Woke media has meltdown over the Super Mario Bros. not including LBGT content. Did he? The letters are mixed up. They're right? a little mi mixed up, but oh my god, there's a there's a war going on. Woke elites get destroyed after they trash Super <laughs> Mario Bros. Hilarious backlash. And Chris Pratt seems to be uh, the hero. Of yeah, war. he's he's saying fuck the elites. And that's right. Midnight's Edge, Super Mario Bros. humiliates Disney. An establishment critics by rejecting wokeness. Dude, y'all, I mean, it, it's, a, it's like, this is such an expose on this whole system. It's so nothing to do with wokeness that they can't even agree on it. And they're still pumping out these videos based on, like, the thinnest fucking Bro, premise. it is literally the Super Mario Bros, okay? Like, like, this is not a character that is known for even speaking, Okay. Um, the idea <laughs> right. that the idea that like this has like uh, you know legitimate, well thought out ideological underpinnings is so silly. It's as far as like the age old trope of like uh, you know uh, man saves the princess or whatever. I think what was it? That was the uh, that was the original yeah. argument they like Gamergate uh, yeah. weirdos fucking hated, right? Mm -hmm. What was it? Who who did that originally? Sar Sar Anita Sarkeesian. Was that her name? Oh, what did she actually make a thesis about how Mario? Was yeah, 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 and like that's why everybody fucking. Uh, that was one of the many things that I mean, like, it is all the, like fifty years old to be fair. Like the the reality is, it, it's just it's just super old school and not in a not in like in any serious like ideological way. Uh, there are, I think, literally Nintendo's very weird with this, but they have like actually trans characters and stuff. Sometimes they like hide in plain sight. Oh. Even you wouldn't expect it from like a Japanese company that's like that was you know that started in like 1881, you know what I mean? They but they do they do that sometimes. Um, but other than that, it's just like it's just a movie, man. It's just a movie. Like I say this to liberals who constantly fucking look to like their content consumption to make sure that they're moderating it, make sure that it's like actually ethically good when you have good characters doing good things. Like I tell them to shut the fuck up. And calm down, and I will, uh, you know, bring that same energy. Yeah, there it is, uh, Birdo. Um, and I will have that same energy for conservatives that also try to do really bad media analysis. It's just bad faith. It's not even bad. It's like they, you know, what I mean, not enough woke critics slab Super Mario movie. 
If you guys are looking for a job, just start doing this, man. It's easy money. Super no, Mario dude, Bros. Don't destroys the <laughs> box no, office. No, no, no. Tell, tell people that there is just as much money to be made there's on the not. other side. You won't Stop, make a dime. Stop. Don't say that. Don't there's, say like that. Two, there's like two successful or maybe three successful lib shows on YouTube. And they're not that successful either. Yeah. no, Nobody's getting 50 million deals although, although, and then turning them down. <laughs> Pac-Man's been crushing it lately. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. I mean, but like. Yeah. No, do this. But this, David, if you want to make David money, is do like, this. David is like a, he is like a social democrat. He still has like liberal tendencies. You know what I mean? Like there's no, there's no equivalent to this. David is not like an extremist on the left. You know what I mean? In the way that like I some of these fucking extremely successful channels are on the right. Like he's not doing the equivalent of I like. I heard him uh, advocating for marching south on the Confederacy just yesterday. <laughs> Did you? Mm -hmm. Like now? Like right in 2023? Now. <laughs> Calling for civil war. David he says, okay. go far enough. No, uh, like, but do you see what I'm saying? He's like... Yeah, I see what like, you're saying. He's he, a sane, normal guy. He's like a sane he's person. He's not like, let's kill people. Yeah, he, he's a sane yeah. person who, who uh, you know, does commentary, and some of his ideas are to the left of what is the norm in the United States of America, albeit still very sane and still very normal. Um and and even then, like that's not the equivalent to a guy who's like hyper obsessively, you know, trying to follow, uh, trying to figure out who's actually trans, even though they're like cis people in in media. You know what I mean? That's like it's not a thing. So as you guys can see, there's a ton of of a uh, movement there on celebrating Mario, but or saying no, Mario's woke. But here comes Steven Crowder. Okay, yeah, and they don't need to do w it. One of the uh, Sweet boys, one of the darlings of the right, here with Alex Jones. No, he has a different opinion about. No, no, no. Crowder agrees with all these people. You're thinking it, it's the next conservative grifter that. Yeah, it's takes my the so so opposite position. So uh, wait, once again, I'm saying Mario's. Oh woke, yeah, Tim right? Pool is the dissident. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm saying yeah. Mario's woke. Yeah, and and Ethan is I'm, on the side of the. Yeah, game. you're you're Tim Pool today. I'm yeah, pro. Okay. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> yeah, you're Tim Pool today. But better to be Tim Pool than Steven Crowder, I guess. Castrated? I don't know about that. Tim Pool, at least he's he's like virgin. He like can't even get he like cries about how virgin he is. I don't <laughs> so did Steven Crowder flexed about Doesn't how he have, much like, a of a family, virgin he was. I mean, but originally before he got married, also, what do you mean? Steven Crowder is like a, a deeply ahead. closeted man <laughs> who yeah, but he probably yeah manifests yeah. all of that anxiety and anger, and and it turns it into a vector of hate. You telling me like he doesn't take a few days a month down at the Motel Six for you know a rendezvous? I mean, he works with... out too much to be uh, perfectly straight. Okay, like I said, if you work out a mm -hmm. lot, that's pretty sus, fellas. Okay, that's mm. sus. What are you trying to have big old biceps for women? They don't give a shit. Yet another reason why I am alpha. <sighs> right. That's yeah, All right, so here's out. Crowder. You work uh, out too much. You're, that's gay. That's gay, dog. You gotta, you gotta stop it. <laughs> you're not beating the gay allegations. Here's a uh, Crowder. Anything with soccer because it's already there. <laughs> so the Mario <laughs> Brothers movie, though, by the way, this is a good example. It's not even necessarily uh, anti woke. It just shuns the idea of trying to be woke. So obviously the uh, voice actor Chris Pratt, who's a known Christian, I believe he's more. It's <laughs> <laughs> premise a that known we Christian. known Christian. <laughs> He's out of the closet, brother. We're so like, proud of you, yeah. Chris no, Pratt. It's like, it's you like the come fucking... out of the closet as a white Christian man, dude. Conservatives love portraying the idea that like there is a Holocaust-style situation happening for white Christians in America. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, he's so brave for coming out as a white Christian man in a country that was built by and still run by predominantly white Christian men. It's so so brave. Thank you. Oh uh, yeah, no, it is. Bra it's so brave, and he's out of the closet. You know, I'm sure he's going to get lots of shit for being a white Christian man, but uh, he's brave. And uh, Crowder, I'm glad you're showing solidarity. Conservative. He said this. He said, this is the soundtrack to your youth. You don't want someone to come along and cynically destroy it. I fully understand that. You do not want that to happen. And by the way, critics did not like the movie. He can. What the fuck, bro? So Wait, desperate. he didn't even say anything. Wait, what? No, no. He, it, he literally just yeah. said, like, he took. A lot of care and consideration. He's like, not I used to play the... Mario Brothers. He's yeah. like, there you go. He doesn't like trans people because he's re he wants things to be the way they were. Okay, like Mario fair, Brothers. To be fair, Chris Pratt probably might not like trans people. Let's be real. Right. <laughs> in his in his own personal expression. But that statement 
your thesis is weak there, buddy. Yeah, look at the yeah. contrast. Critics yeah. had fifty six percent, whereas the audience had ninety six percent. That I love. That's this. never this is my favorite thing. That's never bro, happened before. Bro, this is my favorite fucking thing that they people do. It's like, wow, look at us. We're fighting back against like the woke critics because the audience score is like way higher. Like, dude, dude, review bombing still exists. Okay, I'm not even. I'm not even saying this is a bad movie. I don't know. People that I do trust have said like it's kind of mid. You That's know what, I mean? what everybody said. Yeah, it's, it's mid. like it's like fine. It's it's bubblegum. It's kind of mid. Yeah. Uh, I had high expectations for it though. I, I do like the franchise. I I thought that it would be good. Um, so I, I am a little disappointed by people saying that it was kind of mid. But um, as far as like the the movie critics saying uh, it's it's not good. It's at fifty six, and then the audience saying ninety six. Like that doesn't say anything. It's like the people that use Google Trends. To be like, wow, like a lot of people are, you know, talking about abortion. <laughs> like, yeah, people fucking Google that all the time. That doesn't, you're not using it appropriately. Like, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't no, mean he, what you want it to mean. You can use it in whatever way you want to. This is insanely desperate. Let's read a quote here from a critic. Said, it's a fan service above all else, regressively so. This is Eric <laughs> Marchand. Structure Dude. <sighs> I mean, probably. Such a dumbass. <laughs> Wait. That's, I think he just means that, like, yeah, it's, it's full of the movie eggs. sucks. It yeah, just went backwards. Saying, it's going backwards. He's saying that the movie like is you, Crowder. I mean, so full of he, the movie is just slammed with fan service and nothing more. That's what he's saying, which is kind of funny because, like, as a critic, you're doing critique on the Mario movie. No, regressive means that uh, it goes too straight. Progressive is trans. Regressive is straight. Yeah, words. less straight, more gay. <laughs> words. What do they mean? Can they mean different things under different circumstances? No. I'm Steven Crowder, and this is what we're gonna get to the bottom of today. It's incredible, though. They're really pr trying to prove this thesis so much, and there's just no evidence. Showing a threadbare story so around iconography stupid, linked bro. to source material just isn't enough. It's a, uh, it's, it's, it's based. It's, it's a video game. And by the way, it's not. Have you? There you go. See, he's, he said it all. It's a video game. I mean, it's not. It's a film. Based on a video game, mm, right? They're not rating. I has ever seen the movie? Even a video game with a real story. When you go back to yeah. it, okay. The series of so they, I think they're just doing like this mega straw man where they act like everybody on the left is like pissed off about this movie when there's z it's zero of it. Yeah, they're like everybody chill, libs. It's just a movie. Everyone's like, I don't care. So there's that. Um... Let's see, but here comes Trouble in Paradise. Um, is this Tim Pool here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Twitter has turned into a complete war- Wait, who the fuck is this guy? This is uh, one of the people, uh, I think it was actually the one that you were asking about. Just, uh, no, it was a different- Oh, it was another- Josiah Rises. Yeah. Not like he rises. He's up. He's up. <laughs> <laughs> Listed this. Oh my God! This guy took my advice. He's just quartering junior. Yeah. It's wild. If you're gonna emulate yourself after somebody, to, to choosing the quartering is like wild, man. It's the eighth pounder. Hmm. Or zone right. today over the new Super Mario Brothers movie that is coming out this weekend, and a uh, lot of it has to uh, do. Uh, with uh, 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 he goes. Ah, the the liberals are so triggered. This movie is coming out this weekend. And it's like, dude, chill. He's fuck. This man is like. <laughs> this man is the human embodiment of Triggered. Look at this. With the Rotten Tomato uh, score that uh, is currently trending on Twitter uh, because everyone is calling out critics in the most hilarious way Why do they all look the same? As you That's can see, it. Yeah, sitting no, at a 54% we, it Rotten. That's so weird. Wait, what? They all look Dude, the same. They all they all look like like a mixture of like a guy who's not allowed to be anywhere near a school and like a, you know, <laughs> like a like an operator. Like they're all dudes that were <laughs> medically ineligible uh, and and couldn't even do basic training, mm. but then they like grew the beard out to be like, yeah, yee, yee brother, I love my veterans. <laughs> I love how frantic and he is. And from critics with a ninety-five percent fresh <laughs> from audiences, <laughs> and the critics have this to say: while it's nowhere near. All right, dude. Well, good for you, man. This guy. Oh, well, only thirty thousand. So here he's begging for subs. If you guys want to help him, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Help me reach 400,000 subs. I mean, I'm not above that. Help the guy out. You know, he's got good takes. Uh, not woke enough slams 
Super Mario Brothers movie. Yeah. Kind of explain. Here's another one. Again, they talk about virtue signaling. This guy's sitting here in like a thin blue clamshells. Wait, what the fuck? What is he wearing, dude? That, this is the so, thin blue clamshells. This is so awesome. This goes back to, to <laughs> the age old. Fisher's right. This goes matters. back to my thesis that everyone ultimately becomes a liberal. Like everyone <laughs> is a liberal at the end of the day. Neoliberal capitalist monoculture is so pervasive. It doesn't matter if you're literally uh, living in the mountains and and then uh, you know come down in the Kabul or whatever or not Kabul. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're the Taliban. It doesn't matter if you're a fucking right wing guy who's like supposed to be like yee yee. Ultimately, everyone becomes a Funko Pop collecting liberal. Everyone. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> crying shirt, though, about legit. like you know media. Uh, crying about like the, the politics in my media. <laughs> I'm yeah, so no. <laughs> a not woke enough critics slam Super Mario Brothers. It's literally not happening. Uh, but here, okay, now here comes the conflict. Okay. Bro, you want to know this you same know this, dude? Wait, hold on. You, know, you want to know what they're doing right now? You what they're doing right now is exactly what they did before, where like they would say, if trans people get to compete athletically, then like, why couldn't a man just simply say like, well, I'm a woman now, and then compete? And because they couldn't find like real examples of someone doing that, which would be cheating, they wouldn't be trans, obviously, right? Um, because they couldn't find someone doing that. Then they would go and do it themselves. Mm. Like they'd be like, uh, I'm a right wing podcaster. I want to, you know, build a brand for myself. So I decided to go and compete in like the women's athletic competition as a woman. And guess what? Lip tart zone. And it's like, well, you did that. You couldn't find someone who actually does that in the wild. So you decided to be the That's fucking meme. Steven That's Crowder what they're doing now. The they're like, Wait, what the fuck is, what is this clamshell lives matter he's doing? He's got that hat <laughs> You now. are so fascinated by this. What the fuck is it? I mean, I, I what don't is, know. He, I, I don't know how to forever. interpret. I don't know how to interpret what I'm looking at there. It looks like maybe Phantom of the Opera merch. It looks maybe like a, like a mask. I, mm. I got to know. Are they handcuffs? He's wearing the same shirt. Maybe they're handcuffs. Maybe it's, oh. uh. It's all over his, He likes like, BDSM. He likes being pegged. Uh, it's all over. He's got the <laughs> bisexual lighting in the background. Like, what's going on, man? He, they all do. The <laughs> Cuff me, daddy. <laughs> he went and he got those TikTok ads, the RGBs for the TikTok ads, you know? Like, uh, oh, man. <laughs> so here is the same guy who just decried it or celebrated it as anti-woke talking about it being too woke three months ago. You gotta get your story straight, Jack. Peach just taking charge. Peach just taking charge. Stands up mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. Like, right at that moment right there, when I saw that, I, I, I was thinking Bo Peep from Toy Story 4. Um, <laughs> Bro, you're gay as hell. I'm so straight. I don't even know what you're talking about. Bro, I see this stuff. It actually does radicalize me. I become one of those like Joe Rogan style, like, uh, you know, what is it? Like strong men uh, make uh, good society. Yeah, good strong society. men. Yeah, yeah. Weak good society men. make men weak. Mm -hmm. Weak men make bad society. Bad society get owned by strong men. Like that. That's what I turn into. I'm like, go, go die in a war. What are you doing? <laughs> Like, what are you doing? Go, the Ukrainians need help, brother. Yeah, There's go, a front go line now. To Ukraine. Go deploy to Ukraine. Go, go deploy to Ukraine. Yeah. Stop talking about fucking, like, why do you know the names of these characters? He's like, ah. Oh, Toy this... Story 4? That's Bro, like Bro, he pulled out lore. a Toy Story reference, dog. Like, you're what a was fucking the old-ass adult. Pull, What's wrong with pull, you? Pull up the picture. He just drew, he flew right off that. He took that right from the back of his mind. Bo. Right at that moment right there, when I saw that, I, I, I was thinking Bo Peep from Toy Story 4. Bo Peep from Toy like, Story 4. Like, if you 4. actually loved it... If oh, you... I know what it's going on. They had a whole culture war about Bo Peep, probably. Yeah. Dude, she, was, she was too girl boss. Bro, this is like... <clears throat> this is like, uh, you know, you can't even enjoy the commentary unless you read the manga. Like, you need to know <laughs> all 11 editions of, like, prior culture war shit that yeah. went guys noticed. Recall, Bo, Bo Peep from uh, Toy Story 4 was the beginning in this long yeah. culture war of making <laughs> oh, women I, look I, strong. Yeah, hello, I'm the I'm the woke mind virus defender, uh, and, and today I'm logging on to tell you uh, about my encyclopedia knowledge of Toy Story and how many times I tried to jerk off to Bo Peep and I couldn't do it because, <laughs> goddammit, the Patriots cannot rise up. That's what they're doing to us. You know, uh, I tell you what, man. If they only had Peach doing, like, housework or something sewing. like that, it'd be a good movie. She should be sewing. 
She should be so. It's she'll like, win the bro, long. What are you even saying? She's not allowed to fight for her rights, bro. No, you're talking are... about when we get invaded from China. You don't want women raising up arms. What happened World War II? Women can bitch ass fucking loser ass clamshells. Lives matter. BDSM. Okay, pe egged. people pointed out it's his. It's the logo of his channel. Okay, whatever. I know what it really means. Uh, it's cuffs when you that you wear when what you is get it, pegged. Geeking gamers. Is that what it's called? Yes, indeed. Geeking gamers. Yeah, I think we should bully nerds more. Yeah, I, I take it back. Well, who, who, someone was advocating for that recently. Yeah, I, I was it one a right winger, it Andrew Tate or Aiden Ross, and then maybe who I don't know. It? They're saying we need to bully people more. Like, uh, oh, it was fr uh, it was fresh or fit. Or oh yeah, and I was whatever. like, I totally agree, man. Yeah. I've been bullying you nonstop. Yeah. yeah, except when I make fun It'll of the get fucking hairline, time. people are like, oh, you're body shaming. I'm like, yeah, I am. I'm doing that with a full knowledge of Correct. what I'm doing. I'm body shaming him. <laughs> yes. Well, the, yeah, I mean, it's a dose of their own medicine, right? This guy lives by body shaming. No, it's just like, it's bad. It's wrong, okay? It's bad and it's wrong. And sometimes I like doing bad things that are wrong. I just, I'm not a good person, <laughs> okay? okay? Fair enough. Like, I, I never said I was. Fair enough. I think we should just be more open about that reality. Like, That's fair. I'm hedonistic, fair. and, and I sometimes like to body shame uh, those on the right uh, for, uh, you know, for numerous different reasons, because I want them to feel bad. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know. I don't know what else to say. It's that, honest. Mm hmm Yeah, so, but, again, it's like World War II was won uh, in part thanks to the uh, empowerment of women. But now it's like, Peach, you got to put down that staff and just let Bowser invade your kingdom and rape and pillage your people? And here's the other thing. Bowser? Here's the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there are there I'll are things it. that I there are things that I watch right and I like and I do media analysis on it or like I do like political analysis look at like the political subtext like One Piece is one that I uh, talk about quite frequently but I like One Piece like I'm not gonna fucking turn around and be like and make videos crying about uh, a particular anime that that has like uh, things that I don't appreciate in it you know what I mean like Call of Duty is a great example. Call of Duty is a video game franchise that gets funding from the U.S. military that absolutely does propaganda for the State Department's interests, right? They do so much propaganda that they quite literally took an American war crime, the Highway of Death, in the Gulf War, where the United States bombed retreating forces, including men, women, and children, uh, on this highway. They, they stopped them from, they stopped them dead in their tracks, and they did like a multiple day-long bombing campaign where they eviscerated people, right? They destroyed people, men, women, children. Mm -hmm. um, them. And then in, the new, in one of the latest Call of Duty games, they attributed that war crime to Russia in the fucking video game. <laughs> that's they, awesome. Yeah, like that's propaganda. That's good shit I right still, there. I still enjoy the game. I still do like criticism, but you don't see me fucking going like, why is this happening? This is so fucked up. Everybody remembers. It's just like the Every show. Everybody remembers when Russia dropped the nuclear bombs on Japan. The yeah. world changed that day. That was so fucked up of Stalin. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, it's so stupid. You can do media, you can do media analysis over like more adult things. Okay. Like, Things that happen in the fucking real world. Remember like, who they're entertaining, bro. What did I just mention? What? Eight-year-olds. They're what? entertaining eight-year-olds. I got to speak to them. I don't think this is it for eight-year-olds, man. I think it's for kidding. divorced dads that look exactly like that guy that uh, are, are watching that and going, this is why Deborah left me. Let's this see. is why Deborah left me, because Mario's too woke, or Mario's not woke, actually. I'll tell you I'm that, well. Peach reminds me of my bitch wife. Taking all kinds of, taking all kinds of, Getting a job. Yeah. God damn, getting a job, wow. having her own income. God damn, hate that peach bitch. It's me, Mario. Princess Peach, why don't you get the back in the kitchen and making me a sandwich? What the fuck? That's actually a quote from the film. I, I, oh, so I that, that... Okay, now I get why they like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Thank God. Put down that st axe and make a sandwich, why don't you? Um, Ray Skywalker. And she seems to dominate the rest of the trailer. Mario's the bumbling idiot. Again, if well, you're are you not yeah, the bumbling which is, idiot? Which is, by the way, which is <laughs> you were very Mario. uncharacteristic of Mario. <laughs> he was never portrayed as the bumbling idiot in any of the Nintendo games that I certainly played. I mean, kind of right. He goes down. She walks around in shit. He goes down sewer pipes. He's like ducking his head down like a little like beta male. <laughs> You know, it's not, he's just bumbling his way. He's like Mr. Magoo, really. <laughs> so anyway, 
here's where we get, have fun. Okay, this is where the big fissure takes place. It's like if I watch this and I got mad at it because it's like upholding the monarchy because like the Super main character, Mario is a working class citizen and, and a plumber. <laughs> And instead of, like, being a blue-collar worker that engages in, like, a proletarian revolution, he ends up reinstating the monarchist structures that are inherently oh, oppressive to the serfs. So like, true. Like, that's, if I did that kind of fucking media analysis, people would look at me and go, you're a crazy person. You want to know why? Because that would be crazy to fucking look at a goddamn franchise like Mario uh, and make something like that. Our, our, your fan base is not as desperate or stupid to try to justify their shallow and unjustifiable worldviews. So they have to look for meaning in Mario Brothers and Toy Story 4. But here's Tim Pool. Now, what's he doing? Tim Pool comes against the grave. He says, so no, brave. He Mario movie brave. is woke. He's putting his foot down. Girl boss Peach is invincible. And Mario is incompetent. Conservatives are wrong, he says. Mm -hmm. You guys got it all backwards. Uh, this, this video is actually getting a ton of hate. Because he, I love this, man. Uh, you know. Let's see, Tim, uh, the studio originally had a far more girl boss storyline. Okay, good, they toned that down. Nintendo forced them to tone it down and elevate Mario. Okay, thank God. According thank to God, who? Thank God. How do you know that? They know that. <laughs> I am not sure about this one. Mario's first mission would probably be a challenge for him. Oh, see, now they're, I love that. Mario apparently in the movie had a really hard time on his first challenge. And they're like, bro, it would take you time to learn how to jump through Mushroom Kingdom too. They literally say shit like that. <laughs> Mario isn't stupid in the movie. He's inexperienced. There's a difference. He's thrust into this world he knows nothing about, but overcomes that by the end, Tim. <laughs> Yo, dude. I think this is one of those situations where even if you're in the right, just simply describing it is frustrating. Like, you've, you've been owned. It's like, a, it's like a Reddit debate, you know what I mean? Yeah. If you write a fucking paragraph on, on a subreddit, doesn't matter if you're right, doesn't matter if you're wrong, you're wrong by default. You've automatically been owned. If you defend the the ethics of the Mario movie e in either direction, you're just, you're wrong. You, you've lost. Mario isn't incompetent. And Peach praises Mario for his masculine traits and persistence. And it sucks because, like, I'm <laughs> going to have to end up doing this now. Uh, That's you. Well, take note. Peach is dis uh, depicted as competent. But her immediate success, she's embarrassed about, like a good woman should be. And she is more impressed by Mario's persistence through failure. No way does it say that. Which, what? Like the a film, good woman should be. Oh my god. I made that up. Oh, but he oh. says, but her immediate yeah. success, she's embarrassed about. Which is like, what the fuck? That's a feminine trait? Mario is incompetent. He's weak. But him being able to triumph despite his weakness is the message of the story. No, we are... In in some ways, you are wrong. In some ways, I think um, you know everyone has become a baby. They want to keep being a baby. They want to live like a baby, right? And this is what happens there. Like this is some baby shit. Okay. Well, this is a thirty-minute video um, about Mario. On the one on the one hand, you know exactly. everyone is a baby. On the other hand, everyone's becoming like uh, you know they're they're becoming like medieval peasants where they think like uh, you know. Like there was that there was that TikTok video of people being like, "Oh, uh, how can the mirror see the egg behind this piece of paper?" It's like basic <laughs> elementary uh, <laughs> science, like third grade science how about can, how light reflects. How can the mirror see the egg? Have you not seen those Wait, TikTok you seen videos? That? I haven't. No, no right. it's just we are we are like it. unwinding society in especially in the Western world, especially in the United States of America. Uh, like we are we are slowly but surely, uh, and and perhaps deliberately making people actively dumber and dumber and dumber in each generation. I don't know what you're talking about. This scholar, this uh, high uh, academia analysis Can anyone Mario. explain? Okay, let's see. Can anyone explain how does this mirror know that there's an object there? Can anyone explain how does the mirror know? 2.7 million a... fucking likes on Wait, this dude. Wait, what? No, this person's trolling. How does the mirror know there's an egg there? <laughs> First of all, they think like, no, this is literally like, you're like a, you, you are like a, a, like a medieval uh, peasant at this point. You're like, oh, my lord, the mirror knows this magic. Wait, 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 wait. This is a trolling, right? No, it's not. Oh, boy. Something told me the mirror, uh, hold up is the top comment. Yeah. Well, because of the government.
It's like we have crippled. <laughs> Wait, don't mute the mute. Oh, that's your. This music. is our music. That's me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. George W. Bush has left all the children behind. Okay. Ronald Reagan, oh, you are responsible okay. for this. You fucking monster. Is you there piece more of shit. Of egg uh, conspiracy. The Democratic Party is also responsible for this with their fucking advocacy for charter schools since the '90s. You fucking animals. How do demons. mirrors work, bro? <laughs> Bro, <gasps> mirrors are like crazy. It, our eyes are just mirrors for the universe or Jaden Smith. It's like <laughs> I, I I had to literally do a step by step of like explaining how light uh, explaining how we see things and how like light reflects off of uh, things. And then but even and then even unwind it further by saying, look, there are certain parts of the egg that the mirror, quote unquote, can't see that your brain cannot make up. Perhaps it has something to do with, I don't know, light not being able to hit that part. Do you think that that could be a reason why the mirror can see certain objects or your brain can make it up versus, uh, you know, versus the other parts of the object that the mirror can't see? I don't know. Maybe. Just it? think it through. Shit, dude. I'm, I'm shaking, man. I can't even think about Mario movie right now. All right, so, so enough of that. Thank you. So let's get a taste of Tim Pool. Mario Brothers movie has smashed a global record. This is and I'm liberal seeing all Tim of these Poole. people on the right saying the movie did it because it was anti-woke, which is really strange to me because the narrative for the longest time was that the movie was woke girl boss feminism garbage. He's right to Ahoy point that out. I can't get over just like this idea that a strong woman character makes it woke. Like we're talking about half the population of the world and we can't have one strong female character. It's all girl boss wokeness. Like the fuck? You guys have moms, don't you? You all, you like, you hate women that much? You think that little of women? Uh, yeah. She's, she's, that's very unrealistic depiction of women. Uh, I'll have you know. It's breaking the, my immersion. Hey, if women are so good, how come I don't have a girlfriend? Is what fucking Tim Pool is saying. Check. <laughs> Ultimately. It's not my fault. It's, it's them. They are, at, they are responsible. How does object behind the paper? Now we've got another one, and he's showing a, a deodorant. Crazy, yo. That's crazy. I no, that's know. like a this is like a TikTok challenge. I gotta make one of those. <laughs> how does the paper see how does the mirror see my balls behind the mirror the paper? <laughs> okay, get back to Friends, get back to there Tim, be though. spoilers He's... ahead because I went and saw the movie and uh no, I'm just gonna come out. Spoilers for my it. Mario movie. Oh god, no. turn it off. Turn oh, it off. We can't watch it. this what? when I saw this tweet from Steven Crowder. He says the anti-woke Super Mario Brothers movie just- Why is he- he's going to- he's opening a war with Crowder. It's is, the opening is, salvo, baby. There's a war brewing. <laughs> Has there been a rift between them since the- And Tim was mostly backing up Crowder during the whole, uh, Ben Shapiro split that he's, happened a few months ago, so I think they're on friendly terms. It's just a weird hill to die on. He's like, no, this is where I'm gonna have to throw the gauntlet. Well, Tim, it, it sounds like Tim went and saw the movie, which it didn't seem like Crowder had, so yeah. I, I trust his uh, opinion more yeah. than Crowder's. Yeah. Set a global record. I thought to myself, I don't believe Steven Crowder has actually seen the movie. And when I saw this tweet, I thought to myself, well, the first thing I thought was, is it really anti-woke? Well, it's weird because all I've heard about it is that it is woke, mm -hmm. right? Perhaps the issue is conservatives don't want to admit that a woke film made a bunch of money, especially broke a record, when the narrative tends to be get woke, go broke. Well, as I often say, get woke, go broke is not a law, but it's more of a tendency. And That's not even true. <laughs> there's zero. It's not, there's, there's like that is no, never. No, there's no oh correlation. God. Oh my God, this makes me so mad. As you know, go woke, get broke is mostly right. There are exceptions from time to time. It like, it AKA, is... it's just your theories. You know what it stupid. is? It is so entirely removed from reality yeah. in either direction, okay? That's the fucking, that's the, that's the main thing. Chick-fil-A is a perfect example of this, okay? If you make a product that people want to eat, people want to consume, it don't matter. People are still going to fucking consume it, okay? It doesn't go in either direction. It's not because it's like anti-woke that people are consuming it or be, uh, because Chick-fil-A magically became woke and people are consuming it. They don't give a shit. Most people don't consume content like this. Only hyper-obsessive, online, politics fucking weirdos think other human beings consume content like this, and then they try to tell you this is how people are consuming content or consuming products. That's not how this fucking works. And I know it's weird of me to say this because 
I'm a hyper obsessive online political fucking weirdo speaking to an entire audience of hyper obsessive online political weirdos as well. So it's hard for us to see outside of our little bubble that we have crafted here, but that is the fucking reality. Okay? That's it. I also love that depicting a man is incompetent is, uh, is uh, woke. That's it's woke. like, Tim, look in the mirror, buddy. No, this is. You see your homies quartering? Bro, I mean, I hate to tell you. This is what they did for years and years. Like the, this is the exact same thing. They have become the ant. They have become the SJWs that they fucking constantly oh, criticize. Hundred percent. That's it. That like they would always say like, oh really? Like fucking? Oh wow, having a bad character be like an antihero in a movie is a bad thing. Shut the fuck up, libtards. It's a good movie. I'm gonna keep watching it. Whatever. Now they're doing the exact same thing on the opposite direction. Well, what's funny is. I don't think liberals care at all about this. We're not, and then they just have to set up the straw man. No, like there was a time and place, and I think liberals do not still, now. Or, I don't think they care right no, now. No, I, I think that the, the pendulum swung in the other direction. But under the Obama administration, especially when like uh, this this feeling of powerlessness uh, led people to basically sh reshift their focus on uh, you know making culture more sanitized, and it wasn't all that big of a deal even back then, but. You know, that was a that was something that that created momentum like, oh, a comedian said an anti-Asian joke like we should fire him like the what was it fucking what's his face uh, last week tonight or not last week tonight. I don't remember. I don't know. It's just ultimately That's ultimately it's a it's a uh, an old attitude that w that we basically left in the past. People don't actually do that uh, as much anymore. Even though every now and then it will, uh, every now and then there will be uh, some kind of momentum beyond, behind, like, uh, you know, boycotting Hogwarts, for example, which is an mm. abject failure. Mm. Like, it yeah. was, it was yeah. always going to be a failure because people completely are removed from it. Like, they don't even think that there is uh, anything associated with uh, transphobia in the product itself that they're consuming. They just want to go to fucking Hogwarts and feel good again, like their kids. Uh, so, it's just not going to happen, and liberals don't do it as much, but conservatives do it more now. All right, let's do this, and let's get into the debate. Tim, go ahead. Finish and when you're point. dealing with one of the most popular pieces of intellectual property in human history, Mario Brothers, it's bound to make a bunch of, make a bunch of money. So here's what I did. I went to go see the movie because I think it is particularly culturally relevant. Now, to be honest, I didn't really want to see the movie a little bit, I like Mario. I grew up playing Mario. I'm interested in seeing how they could do this movie, considering back in the 90s, they made some weird, weird movie. So warning, spoilers. No. But I'll just say it right now. After going and watching the movie, I would say in a scale of one to 10, in terms of how woke the movie is, I'd give it a six. I'd give it a six. Meaning- I give it a six, folks. All right, so there it is. We've got opinions all over the board. Now I'm of the opinion Hey, Aston. I'll tell you what, brother. I heard that Mario movie is a woke, or wait, no, it's anti-woke. We love Mario. I love Mario. Let me get that hat. Someone grab me the hat. I love Mario, man. Tell you what, brother. Listen, Nathaniel, you're absolutely wrong on this. Let me tell you, normally I love your commentary, like how you should be able to fuck your cousin. Your first cousin. Absolutely, I love brother. I your advocacy for child brides. Absolutely, brother. Issue. Age this is, is just a number. You and I are going to diverge, my friend. Okay? He's so cool. Right. Let me All right. You. Well, well, you, why don't you tell me why you Mario think Mario's movie woke? Is... Fuck. What am, I, what am I supposed to... It's woke, right? You... Yeah, you're woke. It's, you're, yeah. it's woke. It's your, yeah. Tim, okay. Tim Pool's uh, attitude sure. is, is your attitude. Yeah. The Mario movie is woke. Why Let do you me say tell you that? Why. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They made our boy. First and foremost, they made our boy Mar Mario into an Italian. A Mar POC. Okay? I'm sick and tired of the pro-Italian agenda. They thought they, could get, they thought they could pull a fast one on us and put big, beautiful, woke muscly man Chris Pratt as his voice and I thought to myself maybe he's gonna have a accent that's reflective of my values that I want to see on screen but no I'll tell you what running boy. around saying it's a me and Mario 
He's kind of like one of them good Italians, like them kind of Mussolini Italians that we love. Kind of like the way they do things. You know, he's like a godfather type of Italian. Uh, no, I don't like that. I don't like Italians in my media. It's, it's too much POC. Everybody knows. And then there's women. And then there's green characters again. Where are the white characters? Let me put it Let me put it this way to you. Uh, let me put it this way. I'll checkmate you right now. Mushroom Kingdom ain't one black person. Ain't one black person. And Mushroom Kingdom, amen. That's a, that, okay, well. That's amen. A no, that's it's anti-woke. That's a, that's a diversion to make you forget that the real cultural battle lines being drawn in the Mario movie is against, is about men and women. Men used to be plumbers in this society. Men used to be able he to is protect a plumber, boy. women. And all this show is doing, all this show is doing is teaching you and your kids that women can defend themselves. Women can go out and and uh, you know uh, defend themselves against other people like uh, like the like the turtle guy. Well, well, let me tell you. The I don't like that. Mario has to defend her. I'll tell you what, not man. herself. My grandmammy, she used to hit down turtles, come up on the porch like, and she had to wish get them away with a broom and sometimes a shotgun. So my mama, my grandmama. They was out there stopping all them turtles and all that kind of stuff. I was just a boy. They protected me from the wildlife, and they made me feel safe like Peach making Mario feel safe now. But Did you say your grandmammy? My grandmammy. Protected you a man? I was a child at the time. Uh, protected you a man, a boy child? Well, let me tell you this. Uh, we had You're woke! You're woke, too! <laughs> That's hey, what hey. I've learned about this. I'm hey. learning so much about you, Nathaniel. Well, I'll have you know that once Nana told me, once I found out Nana might be a lesbian, I pushed her down the stairs. Good. Okay. We, <laughs> we're back on track now. <laughs> but uh, I'll tell you what, man. You want to talk up? You want to talk about Peach? I'll tell you that woman looked good in pink, boy. She ain't wearing no kind of jeans. She ain't wearing no kind of like I lesbian kind of shirt, like with the, no, with the ones with the. You're wrong. The You're wrong. Crosses. Hold on now. You're wrong. I tried Hold to jerk on. off. I tried to jerk off the Princess Peach so many times, Nathaniel. I tried. And then, you know, the, the, the security came over. Woke police came over, said, Oh, sorry. What are you, P. V. Herman in the fucking theater? I oh. said to them, Sorry, I have to do this for America. I have to jerk off. To you see were if... masturbating in the theater? As is my God given right. I don't Hell believe yeah. that is your right. What uh, you mean? Of course I was masturbating so in the theater. Peach was a Where else am I supposed to masturbate? So you weren't able to uh, finish uh, at the side of Peach? No. And it wasn't because of the security telling me I need to leave and. You know, they caught me doing this last time at Toy Story 4 and how uh, I had to wear a fake mustache to hide my identity all whimsical like. Oh, was you and, was you jerking it at that kind of mumbo dump, or that, girl, I, I, that cowboy I, I, type of shepherd girl from Toy Story 4? Nathaniel, I jerk fine. off. Nathaniel, I jerk off at every movie to make I, sure to, I <laughs> to I see remember if the female it. characters are woke or not. I tell you what, I remember we went to Toy Story 4. We was both. We was both uh, got yeah. it out together. We did that. We did mm -hmm. that old thing where we you, did the old. We did all the sweepy and whoopy. Yeah, yeah you sure. put a hole in the bottom of the popcorn. Friends you help each other. That's right. It's a tasty treat, and I'll, you get the jerk off in private. I'll tell you what, mate. I got extra butter. That oil does work in there, boy. Nice and warm too, isn't it? Oh yeah. The nanny state, the Chinese communist kids stopped me from jerking off at movie theaters. And you know I'll what? Tell you what? You know what my favorite thing is? What's your favorite? Eating thing? the popcorn afterwards. Hell yeah! You ever heard of a soggy waffle? Yeah. What's like that, but with popcorn? Yeah, it, it's a, it, it. The viscosity helps the the popcorn go it's down like, your throat. It's like a special kind of butter. Okay, we we need to get back on subject. <laughs> okay, well, if I'll tell you what, man, that peach. I'm sorry, brother, that you weren't able to finish at the side of Peach, but to me, she is a princess. She is wearing pink. She ain't looking like no kind of less peonic truck driver kind of thing. And I'll tell you what, man, there was a scene in that movie where she leaned over, and I swear you could see kind of like Lesbian. the upper thigh kind of type of place, man. She got nice uh, shaving legs, boy. Ain't no hair on Peach. Are you so crazy? Cool. 
Ain't no hair on Peach. That's the way I like it. Her I don't know about needed you. To be more revealing, and her titties needed to be larger, Nathaniel. I'll tell you what. That's what I'm saying. If it wasn't, it's woke. Them titties weren't large enough. Yeah, yeah. it was woke. I tried to jerk it off. I couldn't do it. Is. It's woke, and I'll tell you what. It did well in the movie theaters. You know why? Why? Because George Soros, brother. That's right. George oh. Soros bought all the tickets globally to make it seem like you can't. When you go woke, you go broke. George Soros said, nope, I'm going to make sure that I'm paying for the, the box office tickets and, and, and uh, you know, teach all the children globally. I'll tell you, that does make a lot of sense because I've seen buses coming in about, and I saw this movie about like 10 p.m., not real popular time, and I've seen all kinds of buses coming in with black right. folk, they were, they were, all kinds of like poor looking folk. Yeah, Coming they were in. busting in Guatemalan migrant children. That's right. They was filling up the whole watch, theater, right? To watch the, to watch the movie. Knew something wasn't right with that theater. Yeah. And they came out. Those those Guatemalan migrant children came out right out right back into the caravan, going to a white neighborhood. I know they ain't <laughs> live there. They also preach gender, non-binary, queer theory. All right, but hold on, hold on. I'll tell you it's anti-woke, not just because there ain't no black people, which I do like. But because, again, Peach, she is a princess. She is a queen. She is upholding capitalism. She is a capitalist icon. She collects coins. She collects power-ups. She is a capitalist, and she is accumulating wealth like a good American queen she is. I like I like what you... I like that. I do agree with that. I do. I am a big fan of the monarchy, but ultimately she's doing what I hate, which is called girl boss yassified feminism. Uh, that's uh, yassified capitalism. I hate that. I, I want capitalism to be men. I and for men only. She should be in the kitchen instead of trying to save herself, instead of being in a position of power, wouldn't you say? You want to know what the most woke country on the planet was? England. Why? They had a queen. They kept saying, yes, queen. Yes, queen. That's right. I don't remember that. I'll the tell you what, man. The changed dramatically when the queen <laughs> became queen. Queen. the queen. I'll queen. tell you, man, I agree with you. But there is one time a woman can't defend herself. It's when she's attempting to be raped by a big kind of turtle kind of thing named Bowser. She allowed to defend herself, and that's that no, ain't girl. That oh, ain't I, that defend. ain't girl bossing. That's just good sense, boy. No, nope. and that's bestiality. Although I do like bestiality at times, so <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna. Do you well, you ain't well. Well, me and the boys. Holes a hole, Daniel. What do you well, got a problem with that? What? Sometimes you get real horny. You live in, You don't know what it's like to be living in a rural area where there's no women around. My Dan, cousin went down to the city. Dan, Dan, you ain't. Don't act like you ain't never got cozy with a cow before. Sometimes just you gotta wonder get, what it feel like. There ain't no goddamn woman around there. Sometimes you get up close and personal with a donkey. A donkey, a cow ain't no bucket required. I tell you, man, I ain't never been with a woman get so horny around the age fifteen. Ain't no woman, the only woman there, my grandmama. And I tell you, come up right on cowboy. They sleep standing up, make it easy. Come up right there, give it a little feel, get up all down back back there. And you know, you know, just to get ready for like when the real thing happened. So us boys used to go out. There was one cow named Sally. We used to line up, take turn, run the train on dear Sally. She's a good old steer, boy. Good old Sue tell you she was G real tight too for her cattle you don't expect them to be nice and tight because it's so big and heavy but i'll tell you man she was good she was tight we'd ride we we line up and i just black i'd finish boy because you know she ain't getting pregnant or nothing she ain't got no stds ain't no cow aids so we line up i bust in her, then my friend Buck Lee come up behind me. It's his turn. He bust in her, too. We just live filling her up. Rod right? and cow pork. And I'll tell you, the next day, they come out and milk that cow. And a little bit of, there'd be a little bit of a, not just milk coming out of two holes, if you know what I'm saying. It's a little vulgar, but it is what it is. And I'm a better lover for it. Let me tell you something. On my wedding night, Hessen. <laughs> I was a better man for it. I'll tell you, my wife was one happy camper right there. Thank you to this, Sally. This is falling off the rails, brother. It's, it's falling off the rails, and that's... It, it, look, all I'm going to say is this, okay? My favorite 
content creator on YouTube is the the Not Templar channel, uh, Not Watch. Okay, he used to make medieval videos about armor, and he was a history nerd. And then he decided to take on a much stronger battle. Yahoo! Okay, he decided to take on woke culture and the woke agenda. Mm -hmm. And I love him for it. Okay, I love. And him he too. made. A one hour, 25 minute, 27 second video on the Mario movie. I mean, the Mario right. movie runtime is half the fucking. I mean, he made half. He, he almost made the, the entire movie. Okay. I'll and let me tell you his review. All right. Okay. Go ahead, These are man. the points that you cannot address. Now, I haven't seen the movie, and I know you haven't either. I ain't seen that movie. Yeah. I, I ain't seen that. That's right. I ain't seen but, that. But who gives a fuck? Because our audience is watching. Because they're also fucking stupid. Just I, like ain't we are. I ain't watching that yeah. god damn movie. <laughs> and let me tell you. He said, Super Mario Bros. Review. Peach is a girl boss. Yikes. Yeah. Bowser is a simp. Ew. And Mario is a punching bag. Well, that don't sound so good, but let me put it this way. Hester. Let's vote. Let me put it this way. This is Mario's, one of Mario's enemies. You know what that is? What is that? that? That's a. That right there is an e Islamic terrorist. Is that a terrorist? And I'll tell you, Mario be out there stopping. He putting out he's bombs a like man. that. Excuse me, Hessen. This is my opportunity to explain. Go he's ahead. out there like that Kiefer Sutherland in 24, putting out bombs and destroying terrorists. He's a good American patriot agent. Look at this. Hey, is this not a terrorist? He's throwing bombs out there and He's everything. So he got cool. his head where, covered. Where He's was wearing bomb, black. Where was Bomb Bro on 9-11? This, this goddamn turtle like he a member of ISIS. <laughs> where was Bomb Bro on 9-11? Let me tell you. Bomb Bro is some no, kind of ISIS agent. That's woke. I'll tell you why that's woke. That ain't woke, brother. No, it's woke. Because back in the day, <laughs> you know, it, they they would give him a, a like a like a Mojahedin style name, you know, but they won't do that no more. It's I don't even know what what ethnicity that turtle is. You know what I'm saying? That's right. right. That's why it's woke. They're trying to hide the truth. <laughs> that's that's a good point, brother. He should look more Arabic. Kind yeah. Of, instead of he less. don't even have no beard or distinguishing features. I'm a fucking dumbass. I need that. But like they, a Jeff Dunham card. The turban. He's funny. But they got a they got a wink at us and give us kind of soft signal. That's why he all in black, like kind of like a robe, like ISIS. No, he's not. He got a mask on. Black that, dude. I can't make that distinguishment. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, man. Bomb bro did not 11, and that ain't all. <laughs> he's still out there, boy. And Mario Bomb down. them again. Mario like CIA hunting them down. <clears throat> I'll tell you something else, because you think you're so smart. Let me ask you this, brother. What color is Mario's hat? Go ahead. Answer the question. Uh -huh. Answer the question, brother. It's... What color is his goddamn hat? Nathaniel. This right here... No! ...is a MAGA hat. No! His hat been MAGA before MAGA. You're right. Hey, guess what that M stand for? Make MAGA. <laughs> Make America great. God damn it. And that's why we going after ISIS. I love it. God damn it. You're right. I'll tell you, man. You're it, right. It is anti-woke. Man, there ain't no white man walking around in that red hat with an M on it who ain't MAGA. You're right. You're right, Come brother. On, <laughs> Come on, man. I, 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 I can see it on my point. Thank you, you bro. You owned me, sir. I've got, I've got more. Old. I thought I had you at no black people, to be honest. <laughs> you got more? Yeah, well, Chris Pratt, he's a good old boy. I don't know if you know that. That's right. I mean, he's right. You're right about that. He is a good old boy. I mean, he's, he's a Christian, which is very difficult to be in America nowadays, you know? Much more difficult than anybody else. They, I'm surprised they didn't get that kind of like Hunter Schaefer to play Mario. That's what I was expecting. <laughs> but they got Curious Pratt, and that's what I appreciate. That's why they meant not anti-woke. I heard there was uh, a memo. I hate, I hate Hunter Schaefer. I'm always, I always see photos of her looking sexy she on the timeline. And I'm like, damn, she's, she's so hot. And then someone tells me, oh, that's Hunter Schaefer. She's a trans woman. I say, oh, no. I tell you, that Hunter, <laughs> that Hunter Schaefer make me feel all types of way. Hold on. We're having a technical Sorry. issue.
Oh, we got a technical issue. Can y'all fix that, or is that like a technical issue? It's a technical issue. Okay, hold okay. on. We got just a little technical issue here. We have some technical issue, it sounds what like. What do we do about it? <laughs> what are we going to do about it? Stars anti woke. <laughs> Yahoo! I hit the button. Wait, why? I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> After everything that was just said, <laughs> yeah. that was what you Wait, buttoned. What did you say? Hunter Schaefer? No, not that one. That was fine, right? Yeah. yeah it was all fine. Whatever. I let's hit the let's button. move on. The button's never a bad idea. <laughs> Wait, what happened? We just, we... Why did you hit it? Let's not talk about it. I don't think you said anything wrong. I don't, I don't either. I don't either. I was just being cautious. Okay. All right. Yeah, you know, let's Fair just enough. Be, just being cautious. We'll move on. Just being cautious. How does Talking it work? What happens when you hit the button? It like, just erases the last 30 it re seconds. Yeah, the last 25 seconds that just occurred, whatever that was, will be deleted. So can you button twice? Yeah, you yeah, can. Yeah, yeah. Is that awesome? Wow. You can hold it if you want to go longer. No, no, no. It's fine. No, well, yeah. I mean, I just, just saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can censor it. Yeah. Did you see the thumbnail? It's so they good. That you... was just... I, d I saw, yeah. I don't e This is a This is a misfire. It like, may have I'm been. But I, I'd prefer, yeah, it was a misfire, but I prefer to be, I prefer to be on it. I, I like that. It. I appreciate yeah. that. Did that I'm, you are, you are overly cautious. It, it didn't ha need to happen, but it's yeah. cool that you did it. Thanks, Fine. bro. Yeah. That's it, brother. I'll tell you what, mate. <laughs> that Mario is kind of like an anti-woke hero. I'll tell you what, he does all kind of plumbing like a good. Hey, you want to know what the most woke part about it was? We'll say it. The Rainbow Road. That's oh. gay. That's yeah. gay. I ain't Everybody got no knows defense for that. Are gay. I got no defense for that Rainbow yeah. Road, man. I <laughs> saw a rainbow the other day after the, you know, after the the the, the Chinese uh, rain clouds were creating rainbows left and right. Immediately went down to the truck stop, went to the nearest glory hole I could find. Right. And What? <laughs> Why are you doing? Why'd you do it again? You guys are making me feel like I said I didn't. Dude, do you were popping off about fucking a cow in great detail. But that's not that. offensive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is not the offensive. The history podcast has gone woke. Uh, the, the woke mind virus has infected you, Ethan. Well, well, I'm <laughs> anti woke, and you I've ain't got no I've never seen a evidence. circumstance where both Dan and I would ever agree that you yeah, are being overly cautious. Bizarro world. I'm tired today, so uh, my decision making is a little. Okay. Uh, affected, All right. But what can I do? <laughs> uh, I don't know what's left of that. We cut out a whole minute of it. Okay. But there I we mean, go. I think I took the dub. It yeah. Seems like no. the one that got you the most was the MAGA hat. Hank Pecker is super owned. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, the mad. MAGA hat got me. Yeah. It got me good. That's a red. Pecker is mad. You're mad. All right, well, let's, let's, we don't have, we've got, I guess, maybe an hour. I don't know. Let's talk about some other stuff. Uh, we got 45 minutes. We really, I think we covered ground on Mario. I think, I think we have discussed Mario. Now, our, we've talked about Mario almost as long as the movie. Yeah. That's right. about 70 like, minutes. I think the movie's like 80. Yeah, so. now we have truly become a right-wing media show. Yeah. <laughs> covering covering something extensively that is so like uh, irrelevant, stupid, unproductive. You know that is that is literally the essence of being a right winger. Well, we finally did it. We're bringing it back. Oh my God! Look at this. I just saw this on uh, this guy Sunny V two. What's up? These video essays. Yeah, he he. I remember Sunny V two uh, from the one time he did like a video. I've always been a little sussy on him. I watch his videos from time to time. I think they're like very well edited. Uh, but he did a video on Ninja. Maybe I should watch it before I comment. So, but I don't know. Not. I think the audio. button is interfering with the audio, for the record. Yeah, I actually just I was about oh, to, no, I was just typing getting... to you. Oh no! Since we came back from the second thing, the audio got all fucked up again. So uh, we just bypassed it. Oh, there's no button. So you are you are free balling once again. Free balling, baby. Hey, tell me, there's no button. 
There's don't no do button. it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yep, and that's not doing anything. I mean, I'm not. I haven't watched it, but here's a comment. It says uh, he boils down Chris's transition to a business decision, specifically how it affects Mr. Beast's brand. Sure, I guess you could say it's neutral point of view, but it just feels inhuman. It, it's not a neutral point of view. It is inhumane. Like you're, that's insane. You would never do that about any other group of people. It's always people get away with saying whatever the fuck they want about trans people because one, they're hyper marginalized. They're a much smaller subsect of society <laughs> and it is so normative like it is the normative normal position to just be like so be openly transphobic that like can you imagine like writing this exact same article about uh you know someone coming out as gay no yeah it's in, like in, don't, in don't the mr beast like in the mr beast universe if someone was like uh i'm gay by the way whatever i'm a gay man um like can you imagine if anyone wrote commentary like that you would be like what the fuck are you talking about what are you crazy what the f um, you're an insane person apparently he describes chris as an over-the-top lgbtq character <laughs> i maybe we should watch this i'm gonna i'm gonna end up watching it later um if you want we can watch it now but let's do it i'm into it i like this uh cutting edge drama I feel like we got to defend Chris wherever we can because this is about to turn into like a big fucking nasty mess. And I feel like it's good for us to support him whenever we can. Let him know he got friends out here. Uh, yeah. Uh, it, it is. What it has become that way. It has become so fucking insane. Like, uh, we know this already. If you're, if Holy you're. Holy shit, it's getting a lot of views. Of course it's getting a the lot Chris of views. Chris It's only nine minutes. We can do this. Because people fucking. Lo it's the same it's the same concept behind like the mario movie right because rage clicks get a lot of clicks ultimately people love the drama a lot of people are transphobic they're like oh thank god there's some some more transphobic commentary oh it's my favorite holy shit let's hear what this guy has to say and then it also gets clicks from the other side people like <coughs> us that watch it to be like what the fuck is this guy talking about this bullshit <coughs> this sucks let's watch this <clears throat> the Chris Tyson situation could become a complete disaster for Mr. Beast brand. I don't disagree with the premise, right? Because I know that his, a lot of his fans are probably transphobic, ultra conservative. I don't even, like I don't even agree. I think a lot of his fans are children. And because a lot of his fans are children, they don't have any fucking like immediate transphobic uh, opinions on the matter. It's just about uh, social conditioning. There is so many people, though. Like there are a lot of adults. However, so are many people yeah. that watch Mr. Beast. I don't think anything could stop him. Not even being friends with the trans person. Yeah, it's so. However, it, it may also provide some unique benefits. So let's begin by going over the drama before explaining exactly how this will impact the Mr. Beast channel. In mid 2022, fans began to notice that Chris Tyson was changing. In the early days, he represented the quintessential Southern gun and truck loving dude. Yet, I mean, okay. No, that, that no, no, no that, that I mean, this is this is such a familiar story that I have personally heard from my own fans in my fan base that were like, I used to fucking hate you. I was super transphobic. Whoa, I got breaking news. What? <coughs> you just, I got this from my accountant. You just received $620,000 wire from BBTV today. Wait, wasn't it $622,000? 620000 No, 619. They gave me the extra K. Damn, the extra K is everything. Yo! Dude. We I got the money, everybody. That's crazy. Holy fuck, dude. Hormone replacement for everybody. <laughs> Who wants hormones? I got you. It's a party. Let's all go, let's all yeah. go trans. Like Woo. Emperor Ivanko. <clears throat> Empress Eva. What is that? They what is that I see? <laughs> oh God, no, a no, new no. cash, a new cash, uh, uh, a new stimulus package for the H3H3 production studio. I wonder, where could it go? Well, that could been, be so good. I'm not going to Japan. It's too. It's too far. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. I, I, Why did you say personally, that? Personally, I'm so woke. I'm against racial purity of Japan, and I am. A well, wouldn't I you be destroying me. the racial purity by going to Japan? Fucking own checkmate. No, I don't live there. It doesn't matter. Stealing my woke America. It doesn't matter. Even no, that's for a bullshit argument. I'm not living there. They let me come spend my money. It doesn't but matter. But they would never let me live there. It doesn't matter because what you're doing is like slowly but surely showing Japanese people that like, like Logan Paul that that you know. Uh, white is right. That's what you're showing them. 
<laughs> that that white people should be allowed in to live in Japan. All right. I'm surprised they didn't just shut down the border completely after Suicide Forest. <laughs> They're like, this was a mistake. Well, they, they, I think the Japanese government slowly but surely is coming to terms with the reality that if you don't let any immigration happen into your country, you're just literally going to be a nation of like 95 year olds. Yo, I just got 620K from BBTV. Let's go. I will come with you guys. It's if a you plane go to Japan. Right I love now. Japan. Yeah, the song will come. come. I Let's paid go. for everybody. I said everybody's invited. We're going. I'm not going to Japan though. Well, come on, come on. Yeah. Have you? Woo! Everybody's invited. We can we can do a uh, video with PewDiePie. Dude, there's content. There's some juice. Juice. Let's go, dude. I'm not going. Well, I don't Ethan, have time. You, want, you guys don't have kids. You don't. You know wanted what it's us like. to. Uh, we're gonna do like a thing where we all pitch you on like our our travel packages. Yeah. So uh, obviously you know what mine will be, <coughs> and I feel like. I already started thinking about it last night. I feel like by the end of my presentation, you're you need one. solutions. What's back your to my what's problem. your uh, what's your suggestion? Where do you want to go, Dan? I'm the one pushing for Japan. Oh, you want to go to Japan? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. need to pitch. I was unfamiliar to my problem. I have two dogs and two young kids. Dude. Oh yeah, no, I'll have that all. Right, covered. you can I'll have, have a, that all covered. You're gonna have a solution plan. Yeah. I mean, I have the company credit card, so I'll just go <laughs> ahead and book the uh, <laughs> the kennel and the babysitters and and all of that I'll, i'm I'll, not leaving my kids and dogs with ain't no goddamn stranger who fucks some kind of cow i don't know who that goddamn <laughs> is uh anyway okay but that's great news that's many exciting. benefits don't see a lot of l's there i'm just saying a lot of a lot of pros not a lot of cons guys i get it i would like to go to japan too mm -hmm. i can't do it Y'all are single ass motherfuckers you don't know what my life is like you don't think that your kids would love Dude, you wouldn't love going on a trip with my kids. of the Far East. Okay, you you just want to go. You don't want to hang out with everybody. You just want to go. If if you and you and um, if you just want to go to Japan, I'll fund a trip. You want to just go there by yourself? Because if I, the kids okay, come, that's totally fine. Yeah, no, I'll pick you up on that. <laughs> no, Dan, no, no, don't give up. <laughs> Dan, all right, well then, uh, I'm glad that uh, you have a nice salary. So go enjoy your trip. You it's just, just said like you fund it. It's, like, it's oh, like two things that I, I now wish Ethan would do. One, take steroids, and two, right, yeah. go to Japan. I can't, right. you guys. Both of those are so true. I don't. I said a long weekend. I said anything you guys want to do, three days. I'll pay for it, bougie as possible. Fucking first class. I'm talking five star hotel. No, you gotta go. You have to go. I can't. I have yeah, no desire to go to can. Japan either. <laughs> it's not that I don't want to go. It's that I can't do it. I just can't do it. Hmm. You know what I mean? Well, There's well, gotta I be see a, a lot reality. of myself in you, Ethan, yeah. in the sense <laughs> that I also don't like traveling long distances or That's leaving it. leaving the comfort of my That's home. That's not what I'm saying. I have two young kids. You there has to be. Uh, Japan is worth it. Dude, do you know how insane it would be to travel with them to Japan? There must be an instance where parents have traveled oh. once. At least once. Dude, dude. <laughs> it's Japan not, is very You guys want to the go there. The only problem is they're going to become weebs. It's not like a family vacation, what we're planning. We're planning like we all go and do like podcast stuff together. Are you seeing? If when the kids come, it'll become, yeah, in one piece. This? That's pretty dope. Huh. That is pretty dope. Wow, this looks so this cool. This is top attraction. This looks so fun. No, this no, this is every corner. How about how about this is like your normal life? Just like, one piece everywhere. Going to Japan, especially as someone who like loves anime and watches anime, going to Japan is quite literally everything that weeb say it's like. It is like living in an anime. <laughs> mm -hmm. 100 percent You're gonna awesome. be walking down the street looking around like And I hope you guys really enjoy it when you go somewhere. He's gonna be eating you're gonna be running down the street with a piece of toast in your mouth. Late for your appointment. Yeah. You're gonna trip and have a, a funny encounter with a quirky uh, schoolgirl. No. Yeah, maybe that sounds weird, but back that up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how about a talking cat or something? A three okay, thousand year old schoolgirl, yeah. Dan. You Talk know about. how this works. A three. She's three thousand year old, but right, she looks like she's eight. <laughs> she looks nine, but. Guys, yeah. I know I can take. I want. I do. Would love to take my kids on a family trip. But that's not what this would be. I'm telling you, if we bring the kids, it would be a whole fucking thing where it's just about them. You're tripping. You're tripping. Nah, you're tripping. Uh, North Korea? <laughs> I'll, Having I'll a, for North Korea. Sure. North Korea would be awesome too. But I think Japan is probably a little bit cooler. So, uh, okay, let's watch this. Let's watch this, I guess, you know. That's great, though. That's exciting. Thank you, BBTV. Love that about you. Mm-hmm.
southern gun and truck loving dude. Yet beginning in March 2022, he started painting his nails. Oh, dude, dude, that's how Yay! you know. Yeah, Max, we're, show me your nails right now. We we're we're transing our children. Yay, trans. We're trans in our adults, brother. Wait, also, are your nails pan painted? Not, and not at the moment. But like, that was the one thing that everybody like fucking absolutely would like lose their minds over. Is like whenever I painted my nails, they were like, oh, what, "Are you gay? You're so gay. You paint your nails. You're gay." It's like, dude. Like first of all, there's shit. nothing wrong with that. Like, there's nothing wrong with being gay. I don't know why you're fucking freaking out. But secondly, like, no, it doesn't work that way. Also. Ironic because Chris here is rocking the Blue Lives Matter coat of paint on there. <laughs> what the right. fuck? Right. <laughs> True. What? Chris began to display increasingly feminine traits. Dude, I'm sorry. That is just so fucking dumb. You literally just showed this man with some paint on his nails. Making tweets such as, I what finally got it? my nails done at a nail tech. Additionally, Chris would highlight that his facial appearance had changed significantly since the start of the pandemic, which accompanied another post reading, Okay, so in four different customs, I- Let's just, let's just acknowledge the context. This man is making, like, a intense thriller suspense style video about how this normal ass dude decided to go trans and be true to himself. So, like, at 2 8 p.m., Chris pointed out his nails had changed color. Come next, the next day at 11 p.m., Chris said, I'm feeling cute. It's so weird, man. It's, People it's, were concerned. It's just like being this obsessive about anyone would immediately ring alarm bells <laughs> for like normal people. But unfortunately, when you do it about trans people, then everyone's like, nah, that's normal. Like, we should all be just obsessive, psychotic perverts about uh, trans people. Like, that's normal, right, guys? Come on, let's all do it together. Like, that's the, that's the attitude. Dude, it's super, super, super weird and gross and fucked up. I had to prove I was myself because I- Creepy, it's creepy. You followed the trans thing. It's creepy and weird. Why is he doing this? You want to see? I, I saw this chart the other day, uh, and I can't believe- uh, Hassan, you've probably showed it on your show or something before, but- this was from a couple years ago, um, and yeah. I feel like it's only like massively ramped up since then. Yeah, this is from 2021, and this is showing talk about transgenderism. Oh, that's on gross. Facebook by the ideological leanings of that's the so Facebook. Dude, gross. dude, I say this all the fucking time. Ben Shapiro, Matt Walsh, Daily Wire freaks, all the fucking losers in right wing media, they care about trans people more than trans people do really they do. know about who the latest and greatest like trans influencer is like dylan mulvaney is a great example of this right i don't know who the fuck dylan mulvaney I, was yeah i agree uh, like i had no idea who the fuck dylan mulvaney was like i think she was like popping on tiktok or whatever i don't i don't know i don't go on tiktok all that much i had no idea she became a fucking known entity because how much because of how much right-wing media <laughs> obsessed with her mm -hmm. like it's crazy it is absolutely insane. They follow everything that is going on in the trans universe so they can like cut propaganda off of it. And it's so obsessive, dude. And of course, there's a secondary component to it, which is that they're fucking chasers. Like so many I tell trans you, people man, are just like straight up chasers. Ladies, you should be worried if your husband talks about trans people all day. It's, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Yeah. For multiple reasons, yeah. <laughs> right. Quote, look nothing like my passport. Love the creepy pic, music. So much that I'm considering updating my passport. Do you see any resemblance? Prompting replies such as, you went from man to boy. Oh, that's the guy. This is the guy who we were just watching. Wait, really? Like, he's having like a full on triggering spasm over Mario. This is the guy. That's Josiah Rises. Oh. The quartering right. clone. Yeah, that was one of the videos we were Yeah. Watching. You're totally right. He's like, ah, this thing. Freak. Ah, Mario, because he's so woke. That's Rika's That's eighth dude. pounder. Yeah, Fucking the eighth pounder. Rika's oid. Chris responded by stating, Nah, to be honest, I just really started taking my mental health seriously and eating better. Yet his Twitter photos kept insinuating that Chris was becoming more feminine, with this same kind of look showing up in his Mr. Beast appearances. For example, on the 6th of January 2023, Beast Reacts uploaded a video titled I Strapped a GoPro to a Fish, in which Chris dressed in a way that prompted comments such as Chris has been- Yo! Look how- look what he's wearing, dude! Are you freaking kidding me right now? I just uh, like I I don't sometimes I feel like in order to understand the the right wing mentality on on issues like this I have to like get a fucking Teflon pan and just like bang my head right. to it 
Right. Like, just bang on my head uh, on a fucking drywall until I bust through it on the other side so I can, like, understand the right-wing uh, attitude towards these sorts of things. It's Bro, like, I can kind of see through his shirt a little bit. So gay, dude. What the fuck, bro? He's fucking... He's wearing hanging. a necklace? He's Ew. 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 Necklace? Gross. Hey, that prompted comments such as, Chris has been adopting more and more traits that remind me of my grandmother. Okay, so... Is that a bad thing? I love Nana. I not about you. So some people just gonna ignore Chris's nails. Chris had to have lost a bet. The look is getting wild. The response to the video then prompted countless viral TikToks, such as this one with 700,000 likes, stating how did Chris go from this to this, while others even made the claim that Carl had turned him gay. <laughs> <laughs> True! Dude, this is dumb. Yeah! You know what, we should, I feel like I wanna watch this whole thing on Friday, and you're probably gonna watch it on your stream. Yeah, you wanna savor it? You we'll wanna savor the it. content? We'll we can it. do that. Yeah, we'll save it. Cause I want to. I, I love that, dude. Yeah, it's true. Carl, Carl, Carl is yassifying our children. Dude, I want. I don't know much about Carl, but I watched him stream a little bit, and I, I was love Carl. and I was like, "Yo, what the fuck? I'm feeling a little gay right now." Yeah, really. Yeah, I was having gay thoughts. It's so funny because like, uh, out of, I, out I of ordered nail polish on Amazon. Like Carl is is fucking hilarious. I love Carl. Uh, he's hilarious. I mean, he's a thief. Uh, that's number one, first and foremost. Stole my streamy. Uh, stole my fucking uh, multicolor pearl necklace and like literally took both of those things in North Carolina. I can never retrieve it any longer. Okay, so fuck you, Carl. Um, never finished uh, It Takes Two. We were supposed to play it. We did it. We played it. Uh, and then we I understand it. you guys are great friends. No, uh, we're not. We're enemies. Okay. Okay. Why? Because he's yassifying our children. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. I got paint. I got even got paint nailish on my toes after I seen Carl play Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's really it's really fucking dumb. Uh, I can't wait to watch this. It's so fucking. But yeah, stupid. I want to do a "We Must Defend Chris at All Cost" video on Friday. Yeah, may even make a donation to some trans rights thing for my fat fucking stack of money from BBTV. Yeah, and then also, what's the uh, best one? The Trevor Project is that a good one or is there a better one? It's a good one. A lot of uh, a lot of these uh, places have like legal funds as well, so they you know they they work towards uh, advocacy. Amazing. Trans Amazing. Lifeline is another good one. Um. So let's see. Let's. I could just do some news. If we're gonna move on from that. Uh. You did. Uh, Big news. Actually, to celebrate you here for a minute. Um. I know a lot of people call you a fake socialist because you make money. You make a lot of money. Um, yes, this is, this is true. This is gonna, this is gonna throw a wrench in their gears here. <sighs> Apparently, according to Dextero. Dexerto. Dexerto. Highly reputable. Yeah, highly, they got the yellow one. Steamed journalistic institute. <sighs> Hassan was one of the biggest donators in the world to Amazon labor unions. Financial disclosures filled last week by the ALU shows the union raised more than 850000 last year, more than half of it from just three donors. The American Federation of Teachers, the International Commission for Labor Rights, and the leftist Twitch streamer Hassan Piker. And all that tells me is just how fucked these kind of movements are. Because, like, there's so much money. <laughs> I'm the George rushing. Soros. You are. I'm the George Soros, baby. Yes. But uh, first of all, that's great. Good on you. Uh, because everyone calls you a fake socialist. But here it is, right? You're donating a ton of money. The uh, thing is, like, I... I, I didn't really talk about this when I originally did it because it's off of um, the unionized t-shirt uh, t-shirt merch uh, that I took all the proceeds from. Um, it was also made uh, domestically manufactured by a union shop. I took all those proceeds and uh, I put it into the Amazon Labor Union Fund. Um, obviously, for those of you who don't know, that's not like a 501c3 or anything. It's not tax deductible, like, in the way that immediately people assume because they're such fucking cynical weirdos. Um, but I didn't really talk about it for two reasons. Well, one, because, um, you know, it's not a big deal. Uh, this is one of the many... Uh, I think it's cool. This is one of the many uh, things I've done throughout my career. And the other reason is, like, a little bit for self-preservation... Like I have obviously had Chris Smalls on the show, um, you know I've I've uh, I've done some fundraisers uh, alongside him for for candidates that uh, are, are that align with our values. Um, 
But part of the reason why I didn't like talk about it also was because like I don't want Amazon to catch wind of it. You know oh what yeah. Because I mean? like I, I don't. Would they do that? I guess they're pretty ruthless. I mean they are pretty fucking ruthless i think ultimately uh, they think that it's probably they well one they were probably not familiar with it until this came out in like a business insider article by the way like this is not because they did financial disclosures as every union does at the end of the year and the business insider did like kind of a hit piece on them actually um and a part of that also had the uh financial disclosures and it showed that uh the union raised eight hundred fifty thousand dollars last year more than half of it came from the American Federation of Teachers, the International Commission for Labor Rights, and me. <laughs> that's some sad fundraising efforts right there, boy. But there's no but but that's the the reality is that like there is no billionaire backed project. No, I know. It's sad because ultimately you... we are all we have. And all of the funds that I have at my disposal literally come from people that are voluntarily giving me five dollars a month in the form of a subscription. Or uh, or people purchasing uh, the the merchandise, you know what I mean. So like, it's just it, there is no right wing equivalent to that. Like I'm not, I don't have like fucking factories uh, that I am exploiting uh, overseas to to generate millions and millions and millions of dollars uh, off of the backs of of uh, the you know well, the global south and then also American uh, non union exploited uh, workforces. That then I decide to dump into uh, the Federalist Society's like 501c4 or whatever, you know. I I don't have that. Um, all the all the money I make, I still make from uh, people that watch me and voluntarily choose to give me uh, a, a subscription revenue on, which they don't have to. All my content is free. Yeah, I mean the union busting. There's so much money in that. It is just a sad reminder of just how stacked against the the union and the labor it is but uh by the way sunny v the guy who made the video about chris i knew he got two video essays on my ass <laughs> h3h3's new content is awful the disheartening downfall of h3h3 H3 productions fucking free point three point five million views on that one uh yeah dude. very fucking nice bro if you go that Ethan hate videos are, is like a whole industry. Yeah, thing. they've got I a mean, lot I, of views. I I have my own version of that. Yeah, trust yeah, me, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The uh, Ethan and Ela, everyone's at least at one point favorite YouTube couple. Okay, I'll take that. Two of the greatest content creators to ever hit the platform. Okay, King, let's stop reading there. This just sounds like compliments. I me. love the. Yeah, you know, he's but fucking guessing you up, mate. <laughs> <laughs> he locked it. He wait, fucking is he Australian? locked it. I think so. Oh, okay. That's not your ID. It's not your ID. Yeah. Uh, they say, he goes on, he says, but two of the greatest creators to ever hit the platform who have had their reputation tarnished over the years. But the real question, has his downfall been justified? What downfall? You say, what downfall? Because you don't like me anymore? I don't understand this downfall narrative. Yeah. He went woke and he went broke. And I'm like more successful than I've ever been in my career. Six hundred thousand dollars deposit in your bank account. Right. <laughs> you had a downfall, mate, which means I don't like your fucking content no more. I didn't like the way that you. Uh... Which means it's a fucking downfall. <laughs> <laughs> and what could have caused such a downfall? Was it the change in their personality from a chilled out couple to an angry, bitter pair of creators? Don't put that on Ela. I'm angry and bitter. Don't put that's that on my, her. That's my. That's my favorite take. Is like these guys who fucking sit there and, and cut content like this will then literally turn around and say that, like, you're bitter now because I disagree with you. Yeah. Like, I disagree with your worldview, so you're the bitter one. There was a time when I think I, there was a general bitterness, but it wasn't, it was that. They didn't agree with my politics. Here he is. Is he gassing up Keem? There's the, no fucking shot he's gassing hold up Hold on. Keemstar. The unbelievable story of Keemstar and I, the disheartening downfall? I mean, I'm getting a bias here. It's unbelievable. Okay. Keemstar's story if, if, if we're is unbelievable. At, if we're looking at two media careers, I, I would feel like Keemstar's in a bit of a bit of a downfall, mate. I, I don't no? think Keem's, a downfall no? is, is putting it generously. Yeah. That man is 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 a meteor in the ground. He's just a crater. <laughs> uh, but has their downfall been justified? Has uh, was it all owed to the H three podcast? Has their extreme rise in status caused an arrogant personality? This is the rise and fall 
It seems like you answered those questions when you said fall. Uh, these are just my prob. These are just my problems with Ethan. And my opinion. It's wild to see someone go from one of the community's strongest to one of the most out of touch. And you, yeah. Yeah. In your opinion. Yeah. Your content is fucking awful, it's mate. It's fucking out of it's touch. It's Buzzfeed 2.0, mate. <laughs> You've had a disheartening downfall. He goes, uh, The issue podcast has really taken over the mindset of Ethan Yellow. They have disbanded their original style for ad revenue, Teddy Fresh, and H3 merch sales. What the fuck, you dummy, stupid ass. Here's Keemstar, by the way. The incredible... The incredible career, the unbelievable career of Keemstar. Oh, he the last person to upload was some random ass dude. Why would you hire someone that looks like this? Stop, dude. Stop putting. What do you mean he looks like? That. I know, but he if he's looking for a replacement. Also, he, I don't think that's him. That's I don't, not. I, I, no, 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 that's not him. That's, that's the. Not. I know who that is. Listen to me. Keemstar looks like he looks. He can't help it. But if he's in the pl if he's in the the uh, privileged position, though. he's covering that guy. Okay. The, he he's the immaculate Friday vibes guy who was like, uh, who was like yelling at his Twitch uh, stream chat. Yo, Ethan, I just looked. Yeah. The last uh, bit of that guy's Keemstar video is about how is about your content nuke video, okay. and how it's hopeless because Keemstar will never go away and his career will always be strong, like. I no racism. shot. Wait, no, no, no. play that. That didn't make me just DJ, give up. Play that I didn't shit. go in my hole and say, oh, everyone thinks I'm a racist. I'm done and I'm it's that's it. You know? You got right? to go to work every God. day. You got to make videos every day. Inspiring. I've been shut down like 15 times, had to rebuild. I just never Inspiring. gave up. Dude, back in 2000. Wow. And, uh, so we can sit here and highlight all the terrible things murder. that Keemstar has done <laughs> over the years like H3O3 did. False accusations, racial remarks, general scumbaggery. But I think sometimes we're so busy hating him that we forget about some of the good things he's done as well. <laughs> think about- <laughs> Wait, what? Like what? The many wait, good things Keemstar Wait, wait, done. wait, 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 wait. I want to know what, what what are the fucking good things, mate? Alright, let's, let's- What's going on? Awareness awareness What's going, going on down under? As well wait, as is other his ways brain working? Wait, 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 go back, go back, go back. I gotta hear this whole thing. Is his fucking brain working in the opposite direction too, mate? <laughs> but I think sometimes we're so busy hating him that we forget about some of the good things he's done as well. Think about all the awareness he might have raised for domestic violence, as well as other ways that Wait, he's helped the stop, YouTube stop, community, stop. which Think no Think of the awareness about. he raised for domestic violence? From beating... <laughs> what? He did it? <laughs> no, I don't think he did it, but that'd be kind of funny. Wait, what? What does he mean by that? He I'm raised awareness for domestic violence. I mean, just covering drama when there was, like, incidents between... Oh, them. That's super admirable. And their girlfriend yeah. Oh, and thing. by the way, like, he... Wait, doesn't he literally also oftentimes, like, take the side of the... Depending on, like, how he feels about the person or if he's friends with them or not, doesn't he literally take the side of the abusive person in certain instances? I mean, oftentimes, And yes. cast doubt like, on the victims? Oh, oh, I would say... A hundred percent of the time. <laughs> I don't think, I think there was no, 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 we were it's entirely dependent on, it's entirely dependent on whether Keemstar personally likes you or not. I think we actually looked into if he's ever sided with a, uh, victim, a victim. And I don't think he ever has genuinely. So he's girls be lying. Girls I be shopping. Like, nah, I feel like he's one of those dudes. Every right wing dude does this where they will just like take something no matter how like ridiculous it might seem. And often will like jump to to defend the accusation regardless if it's someone that he doesn't like if it's like a leftist you know what i mean if it's right. like a liberal i can see him doing that i see yeah, a lot of right i, I, I think there probably that. are examples but you're right it's it's poisoned by him hating whoever he's trying to make look bad so so go ahead but he, he says oh he sent 500 dollars one time to this guy yeah i gave a hundred thousand dollars you mentioned that you Asshole, hundred thousand dollars out of my. But you, pocket. you did it in a woke way, so it's a damn fall. I literally, I gave it it's to fucking, anybody and everybody. It wasn't it's a woke at all. Damn fall, mate. I did. I picked them totally randomly. It's a damn fall, mate. How's that a downfall? Yeah, because you did it fucking leftistly. <laughs> it's a damn fall. Is the age of consent. About. You can either love him or hate him, but I think we all have to unbiasedly admit that Keemstar has had a very impressive career on YouTube over the last 11 years. Yeah. He's maintained relevancy. I've had a more it, impressive it, career. I, mean, wait, I don't want to toot it, my own horn, but if it, I'm downfalled, I, one, we're not saying he's impressive. The 15 times that Keemstar has been <laughs> fucking personally been banned off YouTube, <laughs> he's come back in a very impressive way by doing this fucking quick scheme. Uh, through drama alert. Hey, whether you like him or hate him, you got to admit the amount of people he's made want to 
made want to kill themselves is pretty impressive. It's what impressive, a, like I mean, how many people can say that? What? You're being a beat hat on. And them. one of them did. Let's be real. I mean, I can't, who can I say can't that? stop. I can't stop doing the accent. God damn it. Oh my God. I would do that if I could. It's fine. I'm fucking puma stuck. He's like, look at this dude who I bu almost bullied into uh, uh, killing himself. Yeah, kind of ironic too. Did uh, you know Basher died of COVID? I don't know who this person is. Oh, I was deep because into this I don't know up. anything about you. This he was a guy that Keemstar basically harassed for years and years and years, and he just destroyed him. And then he moved to Australia for like a new life, and he died of COVID. Rough. I did not know that. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Well, let's finish it. There's only a little bit There's left. Only a few grow despite waves and waves of hate. A feat that's not often achieved by others on YouTube. So inspiring, man. That's what right before he screamed Wait, the N-word. Wait, that's the N-word clip. This man is doing the N-word clip over inspiring music. No, I think he's, I, I think he's like literally... Yeah, he. This is like revealing his perspective, I think. This is a bit of a troll. Like, he's basically saying like... Keemstar is good. There's nothing you can do about it. Look at me fucking playing him, uh, the clip of him, like, saying the N-word. Play it. Let me see how it plays out. Let me see. That's going to be all for this video, though, guys. Thanks, guys man. No, this guy's... Roll it. Yo, that was That's fire. It. Yeah. Dude. Super wow. cool perspective. When he said the fucking N-word, I thought he's doing it in a good way. Super brave. <laughs> he's raising fucking awareness. <laughs> he said, Keemstar said Black Lives Matter. When he said the N-word, he was ahead of the so game, mate. Raising awareness for police brutality and racism in America. <laughs> Keemstar, shut up. People are saying this is satire. It ain't sat I don't. I, I don't think that. That video ain't satire. I had the downfall, and Keemstar had an aspire, inspiring... Uh, also, this video is from two years ago, which was before... I mean, he was on the downslide, but before it like went off the cliff like it has. It yeah, I think, I, I think this so. dude thought... Not much of a problem. Because of his own personal biases, he thought Keemstar is going to fucking stay relevant no matter what and and not become this, like, drama farmer who's, like, desperate for clicks but, like, not even doing enough. Not even posting anymore. Yeah. Thank you. He Amen. was too ashamed to post because he was just sad. But yeah, he's but... He's woke uh, now. He's woke now. So maybe now that, now that Keemstar is, like, you know, defended trans people a little bit on the timeline, maybe Sunny V2 will make a damn full of Keemstar night video, you know? I'm disabled. King Sonny, Star went disabled. Woke, woke and then went broke, mate. Sonny, I'm giving you an opportunity to make this right and make a new Keemstar video. And also, I'll expect a new video about me. Just say, listen, I hate him, and uh, he's, a, he's a libtard or whatever you want to say. But at least just say, uh, but his career's okay. I see a lot of people don't like Ethan, and that's totally fine. You don't have to like Come everyone. Come on, you guys. Can I just live my life? Let me just be the person I want to be. Did you hear that? Charlie defending me against BBTV? Play it again. I see a lot of people don't like Ethan, and that's totally fine. You don't have to like everyone or anything. Dude, that's like every time now, anybody who's not like explicitly left-leaning, they go, I understand that you all hate oh, Ethan. But let Charlie, me just I'm going to have, have him on the podcast, on my podcast uh, this weekend. I'm going to go see him, and I'm going to fall with him. Yeah. I'm going to fucking, I'll dunk on him for you. Wait, are you going to Creator Clash? Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm going to fucking oh, you are? create a question, mate. Yeah. yeah. You know, AB, uh, yeah. he left last night. Yeah, he's yeah, fucking out going, there. mate. We're having a big ass uh, watch party this Watch weekend. party. That's right. Nice. You're going? Yeah, I'm going. Um, and uh, you I'm go going to events to... like that. Why are you? There's, I guess there's other Twitch people there. Well, that, uh, you know, I want to I show support to uh, my boys that are fighting. Ooh. Girls that are fighting. A lot of my friends are fighting, and also obviously Ian and Anissa. Like they're they're great. They're wonderful. Um, I understand. Uh, I look. I under. I understand that most of you guys hate Ian and Anissa, but I do want to say that Creator Clash is a pretty good event. So let's look, just do it for at least for the other people involved. He he he. It's not easy having twelve million uh, subscribers and consistently pump out videos to get over a million views when you're like, direct the camera. Uh, you, you gotta fucking toe the line, and I think Charlie is an interesting figure because, like, he does do that. He he fences pretty aggressively, but when push comes to shove, if he's not defending a content creator that is on the left that he's like he has to make a million qualifiers for, um, he he you know I mean I've I've heard him talk about like labor rights against XQC like aggressively defend labor That's rights. That's impressive. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. so like he's a very he's a very interesting character. 
Um, well, he did ultimately uh, defend me against BBTV on... on yeah, yeah, no, he was definitely with a clip. You know, many people don't like Ethan because he's at a downfall. Sonny V2 actually did a pretty good job of describing <laughs> his fucking yeah. downfall. Ethan's career has tanked harder than the Belle Delphine porn video after her OnlyFans debut. Wow, it made me good. genuinely feel like Ethan is, is dog shit, but... Having said that, watching the, an Ethan video is like when my dog wipes its ass on the carpet. It's, <laughs> you know, you, you drags it across the carpet and it leaves a big shit stain. And then I walk out and I slip on the shit stain and I crack my head open. And there's blood pooling all over the place. And it goes <laughs> Just all like my that. Body. Yeah, I mean, look, it, like I watching said, an Ethan video is like swiping your ass with toilet paper and the finger goes through. Like you expect yeah. one thing, but you just end up fingering your own asshole. But then also, it's a sudden feeling of elation and a feeling of euphoria when that finger <laughs> goes in your butthole. So there's it, at least a positive side to that whole experience, but, even though you have shit in your fingernails now. Right. That's actually, that's actually, I think we nailed it. There you go. He said, he said one positive thing. Uh, yeah, but okay, whatever. I do think if you watch those videos, it's kind of funny because it all really just comes down to Ethan is woke now. I think, right? I mean, ultimately. Yeah. I don't, I don't agree. Oh, they say, I don't agree they with say I'm a hypocrite because I changed my stance on things. Yeah. And I'm a sellout. Well, it's also because, like, <laughs> they think that they are incapable of change or they don't even want to. So they think when people change, it's, it's from a cynical perspective because... Mm. They lack the imagination. It's it's always projection. Like they just don't think that they are capable of change, uh, and and therefore, if anyone has made that change genuinely, it must <coughs> not be for a real reason. It must be for some other inexplicable financial component. That's that's there. the thing that I don't get about like uh, similar to the Chris thing. People go, oh, he's cha he's going trans for clout. It's like Chris has literally everything to lose by doing this. The only possible explanation for Chris doing this is because it was really, really, really important to him. He has nothing to gain from doing that. And it, for me, it was the same way. Switching, uh, coming out more as a lib and, and stuff like that, I had nothing to gain from doing that. It was all just pain and suffering for years and years. I mean, you were there, Dad. Yeah, yeah, no, there was definitely, uh, there was definitely a lot of animosity from... Uh sections of the audience that were not down for that change but bro like we said at the end of the show that too they came a lot of them came back around so hey. idubs is uh, idubs is going through that as well yeah right. like he's getting it rough in, in you know he's just people fucking rip on him so much obviously it takes the the issue is like that kind of growth and change also takes time like obviously marginalized backgrounds are not going to immediately turn around <laughs> and be like, Oh, he said, he's sorry. Okay. I'm on board. You know what I mean? It's going to take some time. There will always be people that will look back to what you've done in the past and remember that because we don't just analyze things from the outside, especially, well, we do. We're white. It, it doesn't impact us in the same way. But if you're like a, if you're like a black teenager in predominantly white spaces, and all of these other like uh, all these other white kids were debating on the right to say the n-word and like making fun of you and whatever and you grew up in that environment and you link it in your mind not to like systemic white supremacy <laughs> and how pervasive that attitude is but to like idubs videos then it's going to take a while for you to come around and and maybe you might never come around you'll think, i mean my opinion you'll on always that. link him back to like the psychic damage that you experienced when you were growing up it's something that i see all the time my opinion on that is, I never expect anyone to forgive me for anything. You know what I mean? I just gotta like be true to myself, make amends, or try to try to acknowledge the things that I've done wrong, that I've said that were wrong, and you know, it's up to people if they want to forgive or forget or whatever. But like, I totally understand if there's things that I've said or done that puts people off forever. That's fine. You know, I get it. Just gotta do what I do and uh, hope for the best. That's what I, I'm gonna thank some donators. A, thank you for the generous donation. It's just A from just Canada. A. And yep. I gave a uh, one of those animated sticker things, which uh, cannot be copy pasted in the Discord. So, but we'll acknowledge two hundred and thirty dollars for an animated over, sticker over the whole stream. Oh uh, wow! They, they donated quite a few times. Thank you so much. That might be actually someone from BBTV who's just rounding up for me. <laughs> mm. uh, the dynamic jab, five gifted subs. Thank you so much. We love you. Oh, Nick that's Reyes. one of mine. <clears throat> oh, you know him? 
I, dude, I know my chatter's everywhere. The dynamic <laughs> jab. Thanks, bro. He's been a member for six months, so we love that for him. Hey, shout out. And gifted five. Nick Reyes says, hey, Dan, any reason why yesterday's podcast never went on Apple oh, Podcast? There was a reason. There was the recording got corrupted and uh, like our local recording that we usually <clears> use <throat> to put up. Um, so we had to default to the YouTube version. But the YouTube version took, I didn't mention this to you, <laughs> Ethan, but it took hours to process. Like, hmm. I mean, it was a long episode, but usually it takes about 20 minutes. It, it took like three or four hours, but um, I'll, I'll throw it up after. The, it's it's good now, so I'll rip yesterday's episode, make an audio version of it. And thank we'll throw you, it uh, Nick, for episode. keeping Dan on his toes. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Rory here's uh, the Mole Man says, after the mandatory viewing of the latest Mario movies, the original Mario movies is better, of course. Facts. Half the population of the Fortress of the Mole Folk immediately changed gender. Oh, no. And the other half became Alex Jones fan. Is this because of COVID? Golly. Oh, There's strife in the mole in the mole kingdom. <laughs> Thank you, Rory. A resident mole person. Julie says, I used to watch Basher and Sky Does Minecraft. That was my childhood. Yeah, dude. That's going to be rough for you. I, I don't know anything about that. <clears throat> I don't know who that is. Those are like old, old long time ago Minecrafters and they both well Bastyr's dead and does, Sky does Minecraft I don't know but I don't think he's doing well either but I don't know uh, Maggie says can I get a birthday shout out for 25 we could do one for 21 <laughs> close enough right thank you Maggie we love you happy 25 <laughs> so uh, anyway we basically covered nothing in the document <laughs> yeah we and suck my tongue. What did you think of Dalai Lama suck my tongue? Oh my God, dude. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, because I'm because this man lived his whole goddamn life being pretty much universally loved. And at the he's almost to the fucking finish line, bro. He's so close. Wait, wait. 86 you, year old. Wait, dude, and now he's out, out there at, to asking kids to suck his tongue. He was so close. Grandpa wait till you find out. Uh, the, you know, of look course up, the son hates him. Okay, let's No, hear it. that's not what I'm talking about. Look up uh, Dalai Lama CIA for more information. Oh, stop it. Wait. No, that's very much a real I'm going to look it up. Oh. I'm like, looking even, it up. Even the Patek Philippe that he talks about that uh, FDR gave him. You know who gave him the Patek Philippe? It wasn't FDR directly. It was CIA agents that gave him the Patek Philippe from FDR. What is Patek Philippe? So what? He's a famous fucking watch that he always shows that FDR gave him. He's like, uh, you know, this is one of my most prized possessions. The CIA gave it to him? Dolly, the CIA openly... Why would he want to watch from the CIA? The CIA declassified all these documents, so you don't have to take my word for it. You can literally so look at the So what do you do with government. CIA? I mean, okay, he's friends with the CIA. The CIA was funding the Tibetan uh, nationalist movement because... Yeah. It, to, to fuck with China, essentially. Yeah. It's part of our war, our, our Cold War Oh, so he's like a... He's like a and agent then they gave to up. agitate China? And then they gave up. That's why it's like... Yeah. They basically did the, the same, like, Mujahideen well, uh, style... <laughs> um, like arm <coughs> radicalize uh, counter propaganda movement in Tibet. Uh, they spent, I think, like at the time, one point six million dollars. This is all open. This is all government documents that have been declassified at this yeah, point. Yeah, not conspiracy level. This is it's just not like known. a it's not like a conspiracy well, well, theory. Well, so he fought against China. I mean, yeah, no, yeah, it, not a big well, deal, is it? Yeah, because China at the time, uh, uh, in in the fifties, uh, took over or annexed Tibet. Okay, so and, so he's and, fighting for freedom. Uh, What's wrong with that? Destroyed the the uh, the previous uh, serfdom that the Dalai Lama and like the Tibetan uh, landlords and serfs uh, had. Like the prior construct in Tibet was the Dalai Lama. This current Dalai Lama had six thousand serfs he in did? his lifetime. Six thousand. Yeah. Oh, like he, that, fucked, among, he fucked. He fucked them. He fucked among a lot a of a bunch them. of other like. You don't uh, go through six thousand serfs without fucking at least a dozen of them. Yeah, he uh, he had six thousand serfs, which was like That's one crazy. of the aspects. They had like uh, child uh, monasteries, like they would just like take children in the monasteries. Oh and... God, he definitely did it. He did all so, that. So there's all that a stuff. child monastery. So there's all that. Oh, stuff no. that uh, you know the the at the time uh, uh, you know the the. Chinese communists did not uh, find to be good. But, Fuck. I mean, it was brutal. It was a brutal... Uh, there was certainly a lot of brutality on the Chinese end, for sure. So, uh, but it seems like there is a suggestion that this man has been uh, sucking tongue for a while. Well, remember your boy that you had on your show that you uh, that, that couldn't cure your Tourette's for some reason? Boy? 
your I, boy, your homie. Oh, my boy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. next team guy. Uh, the next team guy? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What would you say if I were to tell you that the uh, Dalai Lama engaged in a I know. pay for play, uh, <laughs> you know, legitimization operation of uh, Nexium? I well, the way that I saw that. First of all, I'm not defending the Dalai Lama. I'm just saying I know about that. The way that I saw that at the time is Dalai Lama does this. He does a whole like cross country PR tour, and they're just one of the weirdos that pay yeah, him to show up. Yeah, you got a couple thousand, and was yeah. like, yeah, I'll suck your tongue. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you suck my tongue, I suck your tongue. I get you know? it. Tit for tat type shit. So there it is. Uh, the Dalai Lama has been getting his Dalai Lama. No, it'll go away. It, I mean, this is like... Go away. He's going to die before this goes away. He's 86. No, it'll go away in the sense that, like, I don't... Like, I just... There is so much media in mainstream media surrounding, like, uh, the Dalai Lama being a positive person from Hollywood all the way to, like, mainstream media that they... I didn't really see a lot of coverage on this issue in really? the media at all. Like, there was a I little guess. bit, but it, it, no one's talking about it now. Yeah. I guess. It didn't make that big a way. I am. Yeah. So they're, I don't think they're going to, uh, you know, I don't think that they're going to cover it all that much. It's going to go away. No one's going to care. They'll probably, a couple months down the line, talk about, like, uh, you know, the, the Chinese mistreatment of Tibetan people and, like, their religious suppression or something like that. Uh, and then And then people will be on the Dalai Lama side again. And some people will say, wait a minute, didn't he ask a child to suck his tongue like two months ago? And then thumb. they'll tell you, shut the fuck up, you're a piece of shit, you just love the Chinese Communist hey. Party and you want every Tibetan to be murdered ruthlessly. Suck my tongue. <laughs> suck my tongue. Suck my favorite my was tongue. people that were trying to defend it by being like, oh, that's like a Tibetan culture Yeah, thing. you stick your tongue out to tease people. Shut up. Yeah. I, yeah, and I take my dick out to uh, greet it, people. It wasn't. Yeah. It was suck my dick. It wasn't a tease <laughs> thing. It was uh, a greeting. Oh, a it's greeting. A greeting. But not the sucking. But it, greet the, me, the, boy. Ask to Mind suck it. The ask sucking to suck part it is a uh, you know. Yeah. The sticking. This the bad part was the sucking part. Yes, correct. The yeah. tongue part. Nobody had a problem with the not tongue part. Let's just be yeah. clear. Not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a it's Socks? a it's a it's a formal ju uh, uh, Ethan greeting to put out your dick and say Dude, suck I, my I dick. I think he's going Diane Feinstein with it. You know what I mean? He's just like his brain is melting. He's old as fuck, mm. and normally uh, he would probably control his urges in public, uh, but now he's just uh, he's just letting Grandpa's loose. Slipping a little bit. He's letting a little loose, man. You know, yeah. let the Dalai Lama have it. Grandpa's feeling keep your eyes on the today. keep your eyes on the prize, everybody. Uh, no. it's China bad. Listen, so. uh, young boy, I have so much to teach you at the uh, Tibetan uh, program for kids. Please yes, join suck us. My tongue. Suck my tongue. <laughs> please join us. I'll please join the ranks of three thousand serfs of little young boys like you. I promise I will not fuck you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they don't have it no more, to be fair. <clears throat> All right, it's been two hours. We've covered nothing. <laughs> Hell yeah. Which means we're ready Great. for next week. But uh, I had a good time. I'm so tired, man. I don't know what's going on with me, but... Have a, have a good night. Have a good night. It's these early ones. I just, I can't do it. It's not I mean, that early. You did do it. You I have been a, doing it for like a year. You put on a hell of a show, buddy. Thanks, bro. Good show. She's gonna do it! Did you hit the button? I thought you said it's disconnected. Uh, it is. Yeah, I was just kidding. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> just making sure you know that I didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> just a joke. <laughs> I was like, is it not disconnected? No, no, you're good, you're good. Yeah, so Hassan, a real socialist, a, do a donator. Fake, fake, champagne, champagne. Nope, nope, nope. This is the real deal, folks. He's out here donating money. And uh, he says I'm skinny today. Please don't fire me, Jeff Bezos. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, Jeff. but in a way, he is funding the union busting. Yeah, the union. Just a, no, no, no. Yo, no, think about it, Jeff. That's crazy. No, 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 not at all. Let's stop talking about this. Oh, but you could always come to YouTube. And I don't, you, I don't want to lose my. Uh, yeah, but you know, I like being on Twitch. Yeah, but if you get banned because Jeff Bezos is mad, that'd be a, such a great story. No, no, no. Let's let's do the outro. Let's do. <laughs> Come on, now. I was trying. I think it'd be good. I think I it'd be trying. good. No, no, no. I'm I think good. it'd be I'm good happy. if Jeff. I'm happy. Right. I'm happy. I don't want to. I love Twitch. Bye, everybody. Twitch.